Mip. Hmm. Still having a hard time trying to find the person. Let's see. Maybe you guys can help me find him with me, okay? Let's see if you can help me find me. Find him with me. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Hmm. Uh, what? Just, I, you heard that right? I, I think I heard that too. Did someone just freaking launch a dump? Oh, that sounds terrible. Oh, it's so smelly. Someone just went to the bathroom in my... Uh, might be a squatter. Uh, well, I'll have to find the person. No matter what. I'll have to find them. No, I, no, I scooted my chair and it made weird noises. Oh. What? I mean, what? Uh, uh, who? Who's there? Who's that? Show yourself. Oh. Oh, hey. It's the adorable little guy. Oh, hey, little one. Uh, how you doing? You, you have a, a ch funny little guy. Uh, well, well, you are pretty small. Me. It seems pretty small. Um, but nothing wrong with that. Oh, my God. He's so massive. I, I... I must know your workout routine. Please tell me. The power of being a funny little guy. Oh, hey, cool. Well, hey, well, you know what? I think you'd be perfect for my show. Would you like to join in on a nice little interview talk show? Talk about yourself a little bit? Hmm. Oh, hey, no, come back, come back. You saw how to pay for the wall damage. Oh, that broke my pipes. Dude, I've got to pay for all this stuff. He let the sink in. He definitely broke everything but the sink. Welcome back. Would you like to stay this time without breaking all my stuff? I found something. What? You found some. Um. What'd you find? Ah. Uh, uh, the kitchen. That sink in. What? Literally. What? Ah, how dare? How dare? <laughs> oh my god! That's such a good joke. <laughs> let it sink in. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Well, I'm glad. <laughs> so, so like, like, you you do a, you do a lot of stuff, don't you? You you have you're just a pun VTuber. You're literally just a VTuber who it's all about making the puns and jokes and all the fun stuffs, right? Is this what I've been reduced to? Just a pun. A pun VTuber. <gasps> I'm just a pun. Oh no. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to say that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I love this. This is great. I, I, I'm not. I wasn't stalking you. I promise. I wasn't stalking you. But I have checked out a lot of your content already, and you're really funny. I love your content. Thank you. Of course, of course. So thank you for coming on my show. I really appreciate it. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be cool, and interesting. Already, it's crazy exciting. So I like it. Oh, whoa. Oh, wrong button. Oops. Oh, uh. Uh, uh, I wasn't stalking you at, uh, at all. I I never felt that much eyes on me before. Hmm. Yeah. I'm I'm very small. I'm very small. Very small. But it seems it seems it seems like it seems like I should be used to having those eyes on me with you around because, ooh, that was that was a little creepy. But I think I think I, I can make it through it. I think I'm good. It's very normal. Very normal. Absolutely nothing strange going on here. No, yeah, no, nothing strange. I, like, I, I think you're the least strange person I've ever seen on my show. Yeah, no, never. Of course. Of course, yeah. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, those, those eyes don't sh look shifty at all. Never, never. I'm normal. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, of all the people, I'm the weird one. I'm the weird one. I'm normal. Yes, very, uh, very normal, one hundred percent. Very, very normal. Uh, oh my God! Ah, uh, Chad, 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 help, help me with this. Help me, Chad, shy guy, help me. You were normal, right? He's normal, totally normal. It's very normal to see him as a gun with a hole inside of his mouth. Looks like I have no idea what's going to shoot out. Nothing's gonna shoot what out. Gun? Uh, the uh, normal there gun. No gun. There was no gun. Never, never, never. 
Or that gun in the chat. No gun. Oh! Uh, Do you know the wizard has dementia. Oh. Who? What? What? What do you mean? You just said who else what? has dementia. Huh? Yeah. Do you know who else has dementia? Who? What? <laughs> that's, what that's what I'm asking. Do who you else? Know who else has dementia? Who? Do you know who else has dementia? Oh, hi, Tricky. Uh, what? <laughs> you... <sighs> It's great. It's great to you remember me, though. That's that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Remember me. It's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> well, hey. Well, hey. <laughs> I love it. I love this. So, I, I love how zany this is all is, and I and I'm going to be asking you a lot of questions based off of the, the character you came up with because it seems like you got him down pretty nicely. It's actually really good. Very fluid. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Character. I'm me. You are you. You are the character. You are the being of pure awesomeness. Look at you. Look at oh. you being a blob. Who? You, you. Do you know who yeah. else has dementia? Okay, I'm going with that joke. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna be like, uh, I'm gonna have dementia after this. Oh my god. <laughs> cool. Well, hey, thank you guys all so much for joining in. We are doing a fun little talk show where I do each and every week where we interview a new VTuber, and this week we are doing a desect right desect of course very awesome desect 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 the normalest of normal vtubers definitely not definitely not desync not desync not not desync oh what i i i i feel like microwave is not good for you are you sure you are you sure you want to become one yeah, what's the worst that can happen? You know, who cares? I think the least of our problems is the radiation damage. Surely nothing horrible will happen. Ah! I feel blew fine. up. Yeah! Are you sure? You kind of blew up. Usually that doesn't really happen very often. Nope. Oh, uh, are you sure? I think Microwave did a lot more number on you than I thought. <laughs> this, this is why we don't microwave our food, guys. This is why we don't microwave our food. Microwave jump scare. Wah. Ah. <laughs> I love it. Well, how about you introduce yourself to anyone in chat who might not know who you are? Yeah, okay. So <gasps> I'm just in the cafe cafe to Richard and Catherine and Avid Front. I have a lot of forms on it. Chris, various noises. Nope. Mm. Whoa. Ah. Jumping around all over the place. Oh my god. <laughs> very zany, very fun. I love how wild you are. That's so cool. <sighs> so cool. Let me give you a fun little shout out on my end. People can mm -hmm. see ya. I, I am most known for... Currently, I'm most known for two things. Those being... It's wizard time, motherfuckers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that, that explosion looks like... Like so continue. And also avoid witch Booba. Oh That's hey. Oh cat. <laughs> I love cat. Oh. It was the other button, the one to the side. <laughs> oh hey. Uh -huh. uh, oh, that's actually how I first met you. Uh, at least I know I can just keep my eyes on you. You know. Of course, just making eye contact. Of course. Yeah, I mean, eye, eye contact. Off, obviously, obviously. I'm not stinky. Mm. You're stinky. How am I stinky? Look, look at the thick link. Who said that? Oh, what? I'm not stinky. You're stinky. Who said that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna blame your booba. Your booba said that. Now you see them staring at me with those sketchy little eyes. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Mm. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> cool, cool. Well, he's actually jumping on already. But hello, thick. It's good to see you, my friend. Um, but yeah, no. So you're really much more known for those two characters. I like this one the, so far the best. I do like this one a lot. I also like most people. Most people do. <laughs> I, I wonder why. I wonder why. Huh. Hmm. 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 <laughs> But I really do, I like these different kinds of characters you like to play as. So we'll definitely get into them. Um, for those who are at home, do not know what this is. I do a 15 question interview with a new VTuber. D-Sync is going to be here for us today. And we will learn all about them. Now, if you would like to ask any questions, you totally can. Ask all the questions to our void lean looks like character over here with the comey looking eyes. I love it. I love it with the little oh, hat. Okay. Copycat. Oh, are you kind of like a ditto in a way? You know, 
ever since I started, I thought of like people would make the ditto comparison no one ever does really i'm the first one let's go i'm the first one to make the ditto there's comparison been like, there's been like three instances and i've been doing this for like over a year <laughs> i am the first one i'm happy i'm, I'm proud of myself i i'm the first one who made the ditto comparison but yeah i'm vaguely like a ditto but not quite Cat yeah. the cat. I can shapeshift into any form and copy any, any material properties oh. albeit i can't copy magic can copy magic. More supernatural abilities. How do you explode then? Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> I won't dive too much into it. It seems like if I if I try to learn more about you, I'm just gonna be more asking questions. Hmm. Hmm. But anyway, this is what we're doing here. We're actually asking questions. So if you guys want to ask questions, go for it. I have 15 questions that I will be asking to our lovely guests here. These questions are going to go into how they first got started, what kind of VTuber they like to be, what kind of like model inspirations you got, your lore backstory, your thoughts on community, and some fun tidbits and fun activities. This would be cool. It would be fun. Um, also, if you guys would like to ask a question but you don't know how, what question, we have something that Thick Link has redeemed, which is a little spin the wheel that a random question will pop up. A lovely guest right here. I'm expecting this is going to be the one of the most chaotic, craziest VTuber interviews that I've ever had on my show. So sit tight, Thank grab some popcorn, chance. put some jam on it, because it's going to get weird. Definitely going to get weird. Mayhaps for chance. Mayhaps for chance. They don't think it'd be like it is, mm -hmm. but it do. It do. It, do be it like definitely do be. Sometimes. And it do be like that. Definitely do be like that. Would you like to get started, my friend? No. Oh. Well, hey okay, guys, well, no. that's it for us today. We'll just end it off right here for you guys. No, I'm <laughs> cool, awesome. Well, then let's get started with the first, which is actually a spin the wind. Spin the wind. Spin the wind. I need that sound effect. I need, I need a soundboard just like you. No <laughs> spin. No spin. Spawn. Cool. Well, actually, here's the first question is Do you have any YouTubers you like to watch on your free time? That depends if we're talking recently, long ago, or just occasionally. Let's do recently. Let's let's get the recently. Also, yeah. Also, are we counting Twitch streamers? We're saying just YouTubers at the moment. Yeah, all right. If we're talking YouTube specifically, long long ago, it was always PewDiePie. Uh, since then, uh, a uh, lot lots of stuff has happened, and no longer. Because well, I mean, he, he doesn't really post much anymore. But, <laughs> uh, as of recently, uh, fucking Skibbity Toilet. Toilet. Totally <laughs> this sounds fun. <laughs> you no you you. you with toilet. Oh no, I am. I am no very. Fam I am familiar with him. I just thought it was funny that you just you literally as soon as we saw the stream, you skipped the toilet into my room. So like, it definitely makes sense. <laughs> I do not have a toilet form yet. <laughs> <laughs> you should. You should have a toilet form. There's a lot of stuff I need. I, I love I love to see a toilet form of you. I want to see a toast. I want to see a toast form, like like, like coming out of a toaster. Obviously, obviously. Um, mm. I I would I would like to I would like to see like a lowly version of you. Not because I'm into lowlies. No. I just feel like that's just that's going to be the one of the most common ones to have as an anime girl. I just feel like that's one of those things. A small child one, you know, with big bot like big buff body on top of it. You know, I can see it. I can see it. Mm, well, uh, I'll come up with more ideas as time goes on. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, the closest thing I have is a small cat. A, I like the cat. The cat's good. Cool. I like cats. I'm guessing you are a cat person. I'm guessing, right? Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. I, I really, I really like this, and I do want to get into it some more. So, are you, are you good with all the YouTube questions, or you want to get into more questions? Honestly, since I started streaming, I barely watch YouTube stuff anymore. Really? I actually used to watch a lot of anime as well. I have watched like one show since I started VTubing. <laughs> Dude, like feels, <laughs> I know the feeling. That's me from just work. Like my new job is eating up all my time. And when I get home, I just pass out. So like, I don't have a lot of time to watch anime. I used to watch like seasonal anime all the time, but now I just don't have time. I think it's because I'm old. I'm very old now. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think it's more so just like the um the the sort of like slot and like things that that would satisfy is just kind of like it's been taken over by like content creation and stuff like the mm -hmm. satisfaction. 
No, one hundred percent. I I definitely see that. Like it, it's it was really interesting when you actually started creating content. You know, the content that you usually watch just started becoming mundane a little bit because you see that behind the scenes of certain things. It's kind of interesting. Honestly, a little of it, yeah, but a lot of it more so. It's become like I can respect a lot more of it, like a, a lot more now. Mm, which is good. I like that. That's that, that's what it's supposed to be. I feel like sometimes, like me, sometimes I'm just like, wow, what the frick. I, like, have you ever watched someone who like made the content that you used to love a lot and then you see the imperfections and flaws now you're like what the frick what what happened what, what happened to this innocent mindset i've had of watching you and now i'm like ah no no you could have done better or something i don't know maybe maybe i'm just weird maybe i'm just weird i mean like a little bit but more so i, I find myself thinking more often like oh that's a good idea or uh oh i i think i know how to edit it like that mm -hmm. kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> i love it i love it cool okay I, I it gives me inspiration to do more editing and i will definitely say yeah. for the quality of my streams now it definitely wouldn't be this good if it wasn't from other people that i step on that shoulders of giants kind of situation yeah but i mean like that's just kind of, that's kind of how, like how all content is at mm. the in, in like some degree no, no, what? Everything's got to be inspired from somewhere. Oh, yeah, no, exactly. Like, because art in general is copy off of other people. Like, you can't, like, there's a lot of original art out there, but it's really hard because you can always find inspiration from, like, the very, very beginning. So you can definitely stem art from a lot of different things. And that's the same thing with content creation, is that content creation that we create and of, like, can be, uh, looked back on by other content creators. It's just done with a different twist and spin you know mm, to a degree mm -hmm, mm -hmm. agree agree well you know moderation is everything when it comes to that kind of stuff so yeah 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 cool well let's get started with one of my favorite questions are you ready are you ready uh sure cool awesome then why and when did you get started with streaming why and when? Okay, so let me take a little peek at my calendar. I believe it was around June of last year, around like oh. June fourteenth or so. I want to say. So you kind I of a boy streaming. Oh. Yeah, I am hmm. only slightly over a year into content creation. Ooh, so I see, let's I see. see here. Uh, boop. Boop. Oh wait. Where's my? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. About a year ago, started out using this funny little cat. I was little like, oh, hey, look, it's, it's, it's perfect. So adorable. Yeah, and I, I grabbed PNGs, I slapped it on stuff. I was like, oh, I could do this. Oh, <laughs> I love it. And there's, a lot of free, and there's a lot of free assets out there, so I could do funky stuff like this as well. Oh, free tentacles. Free tentacles. <laughs> you know how many girls on my show who would love that right now? That's perfect. It's perfect. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, I started out, uh, the reason that I started was I saw, like, so for years I've watched, like, various content creators and stuff, so I've always kind of, like, heard various things about stuff, and just, like, how fun it is, little details of, like, how to do it and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, though, when I started watching VTubers years ago with, like, uh, I think it started with Hololive and oh, yeah. Iron Mouse Clips. Same, same. And then, yeah, and then over time, it, like, shifted over, like, d towards indies more. Uh, I don't even watch, like, any Hollow Live remotely anymore. Uh, hey, the really big it? ones, I, at least for me, were uh, General Giga and Porcelain Maid. Oh, yeah, I know the Porcelain Maid. Yeah, I definitely recognize that person. Yeah, so I watched those two just, like, a, a shitload. And they kind of, like, uh, a, a lot of, like their stuff kind of like inspired me to start because general giga works like a full-time job and or at least or at least did i think i think she works less now i don't know and porcelain maid is of course uh well he's porcelain maid he's joel like yeah <laughs> he, he does his thing he but, does his thing he's fun <laughs> but yeah so they kind of like mainly inspired me to just kind of like start and uh you know a lot there were people uh, that were uh, just saying stuff on stream uh, in various streams like uh just, like just fucking do it do it just, do it. <laughs> just go for it that's like my most like 
common advice that most of my uh, guests bring out is just, just do it. Just do it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I just I grabbed some free models that I found around. Uh, I ended up figuring out a, a funny scheme of being uh, a shapeshifter Ooh. by uh, taking the various free models that uh, specifically mentioned that you're allowed to edit them, and then making them all match my color scheme, and then calling myself the copycat VTuber. And so I like that it. is what I did. Yeah, it's yeah. perfect. It's a good idea. I really like the concept of it. You know, you are copycat VTuber. Yes, he j yeah. wizard. He just does it. Do it. I haven't clicked. I haven't clicked through a lot of them, but I have about 120 forms right now. 120 forms? That's a lot. I guess this leads yeah. this leads to my most important question I wanted to ask you is, how the frick do you manage all these different forms, sound effects, transformations? Like, that sounds so much to do. ADHD, a good keyboard, and a good memory. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like good memory and ADHD doesn't really work well with each other. It's a struggle. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so with my base forms, I am currently in, I, I call it, I kind of refer to this as like form zero, or I guess to be more exact, whoop, this one is form zero, the little, little uh, disembodied cat piece. So uh, if I press left arrow key and one on my uh, numbers on the left side of my keyboard, buff, buff, left arrow key and two, left arrow key three, left arrow key eight, Oh. Uh, down arrow key two. Cat. Now just a pattern. Yeah, I do notice the pattern. Yeah, so I have those bound for, let's see here. There's all of the left arrow key all the way across. Uh, there is right arrow key all the way across as well. Uh, <laughs> How? There is all of the up arrow keys bound to different models that are more meme ones and down arrow key bound to all ones that are neat models that I uh, would just kind of like pop into and use for a bit and be like, hello there. How oh, goes? Minecraft. Yes, yes, hello. Hi. Normal. You are very normal. Very normal. Yeah. Yeah. Look at you being normal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong button. I'm about to press this one. Uh, no. Wait, no. Ah, he died. Oh, my stream. Wait, yeah. he's back. He's back. Video game response. Love it. That's yeah, so cool. So I've got all those bound for models, plus just a, a shitload of just individual PNGs like slapped around. That literally, it, they're literally just PNGs that have my eyes slapped on them. <laughs> <laughs> Which actually, like, the, you could argue that is literally your character. Your character is really just the eyes, really. Yeah, and at, then, the end, at the end of the day, a live 2D model basically is a, a bunch of PNGs slapped together that are animated very, very well. So I mean, like this, this one right here, this is three PNGs. And my eyes slept on it. Yeah, it just... it's basically a model. Let's be honest here. You're not it's a wrong. Discount, but it works. I, you know what? This, this kind of proves the idea that like like a lot of people think that when they get into streaming, you have to have like the thousand dollar model to like get anywhere. But look at you. You actually make it with just the free assets that you just found around. Yeah, there's such an excessively large amount of free assets there. You want to know how much I've spent on content creation so far? How much have you spent? to people and, like, subscriptions to, like, Twitch Prime and shit. True, true. Uh, Whoa. Total that I've spent, uh, about a dollar. <laughs> you always spent a dollar? That's so cool. The dollar was on a Ahoj asset that I thought looked neat. The hot? And, uh, I'd, ne I'd never use it. Oh. <laughs> the, the, I it, get the little... This. This is that, you spent a dollar on it. That's it. I spent a dollar on this. And that's the only money you spent. Love it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's everything the only thing. Is. Assets that are publicly available and I have everything linked on my credits page. There's also a lot of stuff that I would be using, but uh, it specifically mentions you are not allowed to edit it. So I was like, I like all the all the default VTube Studio models. Yeah. yeah. Not allowed to edit. That's crazy. That's crazy, which makes sense. So this one is yeah. the typical you could say traditional, I would say traditional VTuber outfit you have right now. It's the VTuber looking design we have. Honestly? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which I like a lot. This one, yeah, this model specifically, not counting like the, the original base one, this one has like the, the most customization after that. Yep, you, I can see that with the tail, the hat, the wings, the belt, booba. Oh, that's not a tail, that's just a random tentacle. Oh. Oh. And some spider legs on the other side. Oh, yeah, I just noticed that. Yeah, actually, zoom out a little bit. What, what's going on with this model? You're right, just a whole bunch of stuff just plopped into it. It looks yeah, cool. Pretty <laughs> it's pretty neat. 
Very neat. Very neat. Very nice. Uh, one thing I do like is the idea that the eyes talk. You know, it seems like what I mean by that is that you do have some expression. If it was just eyeballs on a model, it wouldn't be that good. I, but you look like you have expression. No but I must scream. You are screen. You have no mouth with any of your characters, which is fine. But it's just interesting to see that you still have expression eyes on that. I'm guessing you do have eye tracking, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's like, again, that's, that's still a like pretty like simple kind of like technology you're using, but it still comes out as really high quality. I love it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It just works. It does. It does. It just, it just works. That's all it is, guys. It's just, it just works. It just, it just works. works. It just works. But yeah, uh, uh, getting slightly back to the question that you asked before, though. Uh, so I have all the stuff bound like that. But then that's not all. Those are my model toggles. If I look over at my numpad on the right side, which, by the way, uh, numpad keys are considered separate from the main keyboard number keys. Oh. <laughs> if I press, let's see here, left bracket and one on the numpad. <laughs> Left bracket two, left bracket three, nope. left bracket four, five, no. six, seven, eight. It's all the soundboards. For about 300 sounds. 300 sounds? Oh my god. I don't remember where most of them are. <laughs> you lost track. <laughs> Uh, fairly often, uh, there's like a, a insert like anime scene of like, uh, uh, insert like cartoon scene of like. Uh, a Bugs Bunny or something like reaching into the closet, just throwing shit out behind them, looking for something like. <laughs> I love it. While I'm while I'm just like looking for a specific sound for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I I want to see a bit like that though. I want to see literally you like like slowly going be off camera and things just start throwing behind you. And then that sound, the sounds just come up, and you will have just random things. It'd be like different models with different PNGs of your stuff. I really should do that for a short at some point. You should. I, I I have like this nice list of ideas that I just I, I just keep adding more to, and then I fucking never use almost any of them. <laughs> see that? See Most that? Of them are like a, a moderate amount of effort, like just enough that I would have to put in like a little too much time to do. <laughs> well that's what wizard's coming from he's just saying just just do it you just have to find one day that you're not doing anything just do it yeah. just do it just do it make your just dreams do it, by the way. your hi. dreams hi hi april hi shy guy <laughs> they, they all they all came to see the the best blabo they did what these oh the, the best <laughs> <laughs> what what, what? <laughs> I, I this is this is a funny AMV. Oh no, he's a little, little cat. Um, there's a funny uh, AMV of just some guy just saying what 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 what. I love it. I feel like that's kind of what I get. What 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 what. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like that summarizes you very well. What do you think? What do you guys think, guys? When you first saw this lovely piece of meat over here did you say like what this, a lot this what, lovely what? little void a lot of little void a lot of void that explodes little, little shadow slime a little shadow slime who definitely who definitely doesn't explode oh yeah that that explosion that's definitely from freaking mel slug is it i don't know it's it's miscellaneous like explosion that i grabbed the sound is just it's stock explosion like in dot mp3 it, it's used on, like, <laughs> blocks and like everything I, i'm pretty like so the sound i don't know 100 percent, but the visual definitely has that mel slug kind of thing i don't know if anyone else yeah. is like as like gamer old school kind of person but that looks like mel slug can i see that one more time could be yeah that just I mean, looks like mel slug yes yeah, it's literally just explosion dot gif i grabbed it <laughs> at some point and i was like sure this one fucking works <laughs> just throw that on there <laughs> i love it it's really cool it's, you're very creative with all these kind of things i just whoa very creative very, i keep misclicking that one <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 you're very misclicking but no i i just like, i guess all i say is that i just i think you have a really interesting concept and really creativity with that i just want to see this more I want to see more of this. And I, when I mean that I want to see more of this, I want you to sh start showing this off to other places. Like, 
I know that like the best way to Trust reach me, out. Uh, I I want to see you do more. I want more. I want to see you get popular and get big because I feel like you could actually like get like to a lot of people because I think even though you've only been going for about a year now, you actually are pretty popping off actually. If I do you say so. Let me see. Yeah, I made some I made some pretty good progress. Unfortunately, most of that progress is on Twitter. Yeah. I also known as also known as X or as I like to pronounce the X sound with a sh shitter. <laughs> I call it Twix. <laughs> I want to see a partnership with Twix. I want to see a partnership with Twix. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been having fun on Twitter, though. That's good. Uh, you, look, you look like you have a lot of fun. I do enjoy seeing all the different little memes. I love it. I love it. I, I can't wait to see more. Uh, so that's the main thing. I want to see more. I want to see more. It's really cool. Yeah. I just uh, wish I had more time. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you did, too. You probably have a full-time job. That eats up a lot of your time. Yeah, without getting into the details of it, I uh, I spend a fair bit of time just like doing various stuff, and then uh, with content, I've been streaming like once a week recently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I so much more. It's but difficult. Then, like, the, yeah, but then like there's also the issues of like i want to also get like more stuff and like make things and also fix my discord which has been like uh, on the edge of being dead for like uh, fucking a month's <laughs> <three>. <laughs> shoot there's i know it feels like large there's occasionally like large bursts of activity and then like just the radio silence and then me sending a couple messages and hey. then days pass <laughs> well it's like hey blob that's it you just move move on move on <laughs> the struggle is real. I spend too much time in other people's communities and discords. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, no worries. I, I know you'll get there. You'll get there. You just need to have a active community people to like actually make the content on there so you can comment on them. My my discord is pretty small and not that many people talk about it. I try to bring up conversations, try and bring up talk, but you the converse the discords I see are really the ones that pop off. Usually the people within the community is the ones that's bringing it to life yeah yeah so definitely makes, definitely makes sense well let's get into the second question and that's more less of how you got started but most of what you do what's what's like being a vtuber gamer so do notice that you play like zelda and darker and dark i want to play i want to yeah. play dark and darker i really want to play that game yeah dark and darker is very fun so basically what i do uh i play various games I'll let me, like most of us YouTuber gamer. I'll get to that. Uh, I play various games pretty regularly, and I also like to just mess with like interesting concepts. Like I don't want to. Well, sometimes I want to just kind of hang out, sit there, and play a game. But usually, uh, it's I try to make it like some sort of interesting thing, like Hollow Knight randomizer, where Ooh. all the rooms lead to a different, where, uh, just completely different room in the game. Uh, or like recently, I was playing Majora's Mask randomizer, where it swamps all the items around. Ooh. I just like to do a lot of collabs, like Dark and Darker's three player. It's fairly good. I uh, I have a particular attachment to that game because I somehow played it with Bao one time. <laughs> oh, Bao! You played with Bao? Wow! Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. How did that happen? Yeah, uh, it was it was like this um, Valentine's stream. I I somehow rizzed her up with Wizard Time, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> She really, really liked it, and then uh, one thing led to another, and we somehow ended up playing Dark and Darker for like 30 minutes at the end of the stream. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome! All oh, the explosion. Dude, you guys gonna blow up my entire setup, if not. Jeez. Yeah. Have you ever reached back out to her to see if she would be down for another Dark and Darker? Uh, I mean, every little bit. I hang out, I hang out with, like, in our Discord a lot. Ooh. She is, at, at, as of current time, the people that I mainly watch are General Giga, Porcelain Maid, uh, Bao, and then like sprinkles of like various other peeps and some other like small VTuber homies. I like it, I like it. Well, hey, go for it. Uh, I, I would love to see, I, do you have that VOD saved somewhere? Uh, it's on, it's on like, you know how there's, for all of the big streamers, there's always some YouTube channel that just like it takes the VOD and just posts the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, there's probably someone not affiliated with the person who <laughs> makes the stuff. No, they usually not. They usually have their own thing. 
They're making money off of someone else's content. Yeah. Well, if you do find that video, I would love to see it. Because I would love to see the interactions. Because I've always wanted to play Dock and Docker. Like, that just seems like a really fun game to play. I just, one, I had to buy it. So that's going. That's the thing by itself. And two, yeah, um, website, $35. Yep, $35, which is not that much. I'll definitely buy it eventually. I'm kind of just waiting until I get more financially stable. I just bought a house, so, like, I want to wait. Ooh. Yeah, so I'm kind of waiting until I'm able to get, like, financially more stable before I start getting into more stuff. But that's definitely Man. one thing I want to try to do is get darker and darker. Would you like to play with me? Would you Would you be, would you be down to show me the ways? Can the ditto show me the no ways way. of the darker and darker? Uh, maybe at some point. Yeah, yeah, There's great. so many people that like <laughs> I want to play with you, with, but then like I, <laughs> I don't have a super large amount of time, and I also don't want all of my streams to be collabs. <laughs> True. Yeah, make your own content. Definitely, definitely. Well, I saw that randomizer stuff, which is definitely enough. Definitely one hundred percent. Yeah. 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 One hundred percent. One hundred percent. I feel like you should have a TV, TV one. Nah, we could just we could just pretend this one doubles as a TV. It's a smart microwave. You should you should be super. Yeah, true. It's a, it's a TV and microwave. Oh my god, the best invention ever! While you're watching your food uh, cook, you can watch a video. It's actually very maybe take, clever. Maybe take it your Samsung smart fridge. Exactly, Samsung smart uh, fridge. What? Desync brand. <laughs> Desync brand. I love it. This best for best brand. It's probably better than mine. Oh, does it actually say Desync on it? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> You patent it, patent it. <laughs> New wave form of TV dinner. Exactly! My favorite. See. My favorite. I, w I want to... One of, one of your models is everything but the kitchen sink. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the joke you can put off. Like, I have literally everything but the kitchen sink. Oh, wait. Well, I mean, I've got a sink right here. Oh, it's there. It's not the kitchen one, but it's certainly a sink. It's definitely a sink. I uh, will let it sink in, which is the best joke I heard so far today. Indeed. Indeed. At one point, I tried to lean into it and never really caught on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I it love kinda, it. Kind of like people like it though, but like it's it didn't go as far as just being uh, you know funny void witch or also it was a die motherfuckers went really really. <laughs> Well, that that, that needs that needs that needs to be <laughs> that needs to be a freaking uh, a soundboard redeem right there. It's wizard time. I actually for a while I had it set so there was a wizard time redeem for like five thousand points where if people redeemed it I would do the wizard time voice for two minutes and I just <laughs> talk like that for everything. A weird man with dementia. A weird man with dementia. And be a weird oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and be a weird man with dementia and. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's so good. It's so yeah. good. Well, no. Uh, I, I, uh, yeah, I, I didn't like being uh, forced to do that voice during certain times. So I was I slowly went more towards like, I know you redeemed it. I'll just refund it later. Yeah. And then eventually, I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just I, I'll use the voice when I want to. And I turned off the redeem. Makes sense. Makes sense. Like, it might be a little bit awkward if you in like really intense moments like, Guys, I'm sorry, but work has been kind of stressful for me lately. I haven't been able to eat my dinner. And oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I get to be this voice now while I'm talking about something depressing going on. Oh my god, it's so great! You know? Completely understandable. I love the randomizers kind of stuff. I've always wanted to try a randomizer Pokemon game because I've heard those things are really fun. Randomizers are fun. I wouldn't do one for Pokemon myself though, because I just don't want to play Pokemon games. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair. It's it's kind of a lot. It's kind of a lot. Yeah, most Pokemon. I feel like I've just fully Pokemon out. I've played every Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and I've played a couple of the mainline ones. Mm. After like the second mainline one that I played, I was like, these are all the fucking same. <laughs> they all the same. Yeah, that's well, like the randomizer is kind of cute. And I would say a randomizer fusion, like the new fusion that's taking a lot of people like the fusion one. Um, maybe that'd be a cool one to go for. Because you are a fusion of a whole bunch of different things, so it'll fit your brand. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. And then if you can make a mod where you are the Pokemon and each Pokemon is just a black version with those eyes on it, that'd be cool. <laughs> it seems like a lot turn, of work though. <laughs> turn down saturation on every Pokemon. Right. <laughs> 
uh, oh. invert color and darken. <laughs> yep, exactly. It's perfect. It's how, that's how you do your shtick. You do it. Yep. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Cool, cool. Awesome, awesome. Okay, well, um, here's a question I like to ask a lot, but I feel like this question does not fit you at all. Because whenever I ask this question, it just seems like there's always a VTuber on my show that has kind of similarity or copy of another character. But for, as the copycat VTuber, you are probably the most unique character I've ever seen. And no one has copied off of you. So this question is going to sound a little weird, but I still want you to describe it and explain it to me, okay? Okay. What do you bring to the VTuber community that helps you stand out? Well, making eye contact <laughs> uh, for this explanation. Uh, well, of course, there is funny shadow stuff. And also, for despite calling myself the copycat VTuber, I make a remarkably large amount of original content. Yes, you do. That's what I was saying. Like you, like, for a copycat VTuber, you are probably the most original character I've ever had on my show. <laughs> Yeah, I joke about this a lot. <laughs> the, uh, so, on Twitter, I make just a, a shitload of little, like, edits of, well, primarily anyway, or at least it used to be primarily, <laughs> uh, little edits of, uh, like, the, the funny little void blob just stuck into various situations and just uh, various pictures of just stuff. I've like been a little gremlin on, like, the floor, or, like, uh, creeping out your door. Or like or your carpet is dark and has little eyes on it. <laughs> it just like funny captions and stuff. And it, it just works. Yeah. Because like I, at, at one point, I put in more effort to like a lot of posts. There was like a lot of effort on them. But they weren't very funny. But there was a lot of effort on them. And mm. then, you know, uh, the good old uh, thing that's memed on a whole lot with Twitter stuff. The let, let's just insert the funny meme here. Uh, in, in your mind, imagine the the funny meme of person with extremely detailed, nice art piece, uh, and then has like two likes on it, and then next to like uh, person puts short funny caption and has like a scribble, like uh, two thousand likes. <laughs> yep, that is so true though. <laughs> like, like as actually yeah. how I first started uh, content creation, I started about three years ago. And I first thought you put a lot of hard work into it. You put a lot of hard work into it. And I got so burnt out so quickly and so stressed out. And I wasn't getting any views. Like, like it was so depressing. And that's why I see a lot of content creators kind of, like, to stop. Oh, right. I just Looks realized you have... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just realized you have eyes within your eyes. Yeah. Yeah, I did not notice that you have eyes within your eyes. <laughs> this <is a> big <laughs> sense. sense. <laughs> but um, it's eyeception. Um, but it just seems like, you know, then I went away and I just like, okay, my new plan is I still want to do this, but I'm going to try my best to not try my best. I'm going to try and make as much simple content that I can push out as much as possible. Still be quality, like quality content, but not as difficult, not as stressful and just release as much content as possible to like make it, uh, reach as much audience as possible. They used to make like... 30 minute content of like let's plays and like video game news stuff and i'll have all these crazy skits in mind and all this stuff and then i get like 20 views and then i will yeah, release sure a where it's at. yep i release a short that's literally 30 seconds long of me just ranting about something in front of a camera and that gets a thousand i'm like <laughs> magic. and also but, people have horribly low attention spans you're right how many times have you changed your character again a lot yeah. i i pretty regularly will just like at one point i pretty often just sat as like one form for most of a stream and then after at some point i just kind of got into the habit of like you know what it's funny if i just like people are listening and then they look away to go like grab something and then they look back and i'm just like different now yeah because oh hi a little red hair riding oh, hood hi. i know how i'm doing great hey, hmm <laughs> What was that? What was that? Yeah, well, what do you mean? What was that? It's just, it's just a little, little anime. Oh, I just realized the eyes is over by the, uh, the color of your, of your thing. Yep, they're the same ones. I just didn't take them off. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I, I, I kind of want to argue that the actual VTuber is the eyes, and everything else is just different, different outfits. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he does oh, that a lot. Work. Oh. oh, kind of. Oh, <laughs> is is it's from the Kuski. True oh. pain. True pain with the wings and tentacles and the crab behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's so good. Like I just love. I just love the concept. I love the concept. You're very unique and different. I don't think anyone could argue that you are very different. Yeah, I have fun with it. I, I do best in like chatting settings, despite the fact that I very, very often will just like be playing a game and not doing just chatting and then just treating it like just chatting. But because mm. I'm playing a game, I don't have access to all of my buttons as I normally do. So I don't have like unlimited power to just like flip around constantly <laughs> and be like, oh, hey, I'm up here now. Hi, I'm up here. The... I don't know what I was looking for, actually. I think that's the best part is the fact that you don't know the buttons and that just adds to the humor <laughs> just randomly. <laughs> I love it. I love it. XD random. Well, let's do random explosion. It's like eight explosions so far. Oh my God. <laughs> so many explosions. No, there haven't. Maybe. Actually, I think you're eight. I think it's seven. And now we had eight. Okay, now we're at nine. Oh. Actually, we're nine. Okay. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> it's a gift. It's a gift. It's a gift. It's a gift. It loops. It loops. <laughs> I love it. I love when it. I press that button, I have to turn it off again after I like I press it and it does this. The sound isn't attached to that, by the way. Oh, you have to press I, both I, buttons. I press both buttons separately. I fucking like reach over and I'm like press this one and press the other one. <laughs> I feel like if you care. if Where's you like sat button? down and organized your stuff, you probably could find a more efficient way to do all this. I probably could, but then I couldn't just spam the explosion sometimes and be like. <laughs> yeah. Or, uh, or I'm more particularly play like the explosion sound as just a sound effect for like something happens in a game and then I just go like. I the timing would be perfect. The timing would be perfect. Yeah. Cool. I love. It, I love. It. It, actually, about that timing. This is kind of off topic, but like about that timing. Does it like? Is it pretty accurate with the timing? Like as soon as you press the button, the sound hits. Or is that a little bit of a delay? Uh, yes. Nice. The mo pretty much the moment I press it. So actually, with most of my soundboard binds, uh, all of the sounds that I use, what I do is I take Audacity, the program, and then I record the sound from just wherever. Usually, I like find it in like a video or something of the sound that I'm looking for. I'm like, I remember sound being used over here, and then I go grab it. Slap it in Audacity, cut the start because there's always like a little bit of empty space there. Cut the end because there's empty space there as well, so I can loop it easier. And then I have this nice compact sound that most people don't use. And then I have this horrible conglomeration of my soundboard with just piles of non-traditional sounds. <laughs> well, I say that despite having just pressed a bunch of the most least original sounds. <laughs> 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 Oh. But yeah. Yeah. I like him. I like him. This is great. This is zany, random, and it fits you perfectly. This is great. It's great. Uh -huh. All right. Well, here's going to be two questions. This is going to be for your fans, mostly. The people who's watching over at home. A nice little treat for you guys for uh, tuning in to this lovely stream of a lovely person Me. over here. Um, any games you're looking forward to streaming later this year? So later this year, for starters, uh, for the past uh, two days, I had a bunch of work that I had to do, despite having said that I was going to start playing Amnesia The Dark Descent finally, and then wow. I d didn't because work stuff got in yeah. the way. <laughs> feels, so feels. ideally I'll play that soon. Uh, so after Amnesia Dark Descent, I also want to play... Uh, Obviously, whenever the hell it comes out, Silk Song and Delta Rune. I, the moment those come out, I don't care what the fuck was on my schedule unless it was a collab. I'll just, I'll just play them. <laughs> yeah, you know what it feels like. Uh, this games like that, my repertoire. That as soon as it releases, like the new Elden Elden Ring DLC, whatever I'm playing, scrap it. Oh yeah, I'm playing that. Man, yeah. those whenever they happen. Amnesia: The Dark Descent. Uh, I do also want to have a night where I just play it. A, a, ton of like tiny games like baldi's basics and stuff that i haven't oh. played before yeah wait so that'll be like a night thing uh oh. there's, a, there's a game do you play rpgs like turn-based games every now and then uh a reasonable amount of them i actually started out streaming on a toontown corporate clash oh that's cool yeah huh. very turn-based very good for talking over stuff 
Yeah, so I like turn based game, then. Yeah. So also some games just aren't good for streaming. More dark and darker. Oh, oh. Was it one to see oh, yeah, more, more dark and dark? darker, of course. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. And, yeah, that's always just randomly slaps in because like it's it's really good for collabs. Oh, yeah. a very good game for that, especially since it's three player max, which is a very neat niche. Because usually, most games are either single player, co op, four player, or just a massive fucking absurd player limit. So then, if you have like a four player game and you've only got three people, then it's either okay, we can grab a fourth person for this, or we'll be playing like Sea of Thieves with like three people, which is like it's okay, but it's not. It's, you, there's always that nagging knowledge that you could have a fourth person and it would be more efficient. You know? Yeah, no. One like, percent. Yeah. And, and it really... Darker, free player limit. There you go. True. One percent. I need... Uh, I'll get into it. I'll get into it eventually. I'm definitely looking forward to trying it out. I do want to get a squad together, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Oh. That one we, watched, that we watched. Oops. We watched. Oopsie. There you go. I was trying to turn off the sink and I pressed that one. You desynced. <laughs> hmm. See, see, see. At least, at least with my cringe, my cringe. I'm just like I have to look really cringy when I say it. <laughs> uh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, it's crap. You crab now. You, you attack the enemy crab weak point for massive damage. Right? The enemy crab fights back. Oh no! Ah! Sorry! I didn't mean to! Oh, no! Hmm. When yeah. VTubers threaten you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. Another game that I keep fucking saying that I'm gonna play, I still haven't played Ultra Kill. Yeah, I've I play Ultra Kill? It's perfect. I've, I've been saying I wanna play it for like so fucking long. I have it. I've had it sitting in my library for like six <laughs> months. I keep saying, I'm gonna play Ultra Kill after I finish this other game. And then I start another game and it's like, Highlight Randomizer, Collab, cool. Majora's Mask Randomizer, Collab, <laughs> More things. I wanna start a new game because Spooky Season. And I gotta spooky play Spooky season. Game. Yeah, play Spooky Game. Oopsie, I'm busy. Can't start yet. Yo, Absolutely. you need to play it though. It's so good. It's so good. I really, really want to <laughs> play it. Play it. You just like next next stream, next stream, whatever. Unless it's a collab, next stream, just just do it. Just do it. No, because it's spooky, but then I have to start animation of the dark descent, which I also want to play at some point. I'll be at slightly cool. less than ultra kill, but also it's spooky month, so it's super fitting, and I have. So to yeah, you have to because you get the you yeah. get the you get the audience for it. Yeah, cool. e even though I'm planning on streaming later today, I already have an event set for later today, which is oh. uh, I'm finishing the VTubers following thing. Oh. I had a thing live on stream that I had people give me their PNGs on Twitter.com like two weeks ago, and I edited it last week, but I got too distracted and I didn't finish it, <laughs> so I'm finishing it till later today. <laughs> wow, you're so behind. <laughs> So then, being busy. <laughs> he's being busy. Yeah, being busy. That's how it works. ADHD in the nutshell. I'm never gonna fix my fucking Discord at this <laughs> No, you need someone else to do. You need to get a mod like to like, help you fix it. Yeah, all the I I do basically everything myself. Uh, <laughs> I have some people that like I've given the ability to mod where I'm like, hey. This doesn't come with like you have to be here or anything. This isn't a job. It's just kind of like you you're here Chill. fairly frequently, and I trust you. So take the to, here. You have the power no. to just fucking like shoot people in chat now. Shoot people uh, now. Don't abuse it. Don't abuse it. <laughs> and then they and then they constantly pin uh, trying to get people to do the exclamation mark piss command to trick them into using it because it uh, it times people out for a minute. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> They just like to troll. It, it seems like it's perfect for your community. You, they're perfect for your community. Fucking random. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's so good. That's so good. Cool. Well, do you have any? Um, do you have any like community events or games you'd like to play with your fans? Community stuff. Uh, sometimes I let. Fairly frequently, I'm like, hey, I, it would be a good idea if I try to do this as like a, a fun game with the fans kind of thing, and then mm -hmm. like. So there was a time I tried to do a open join run of Terraria Vanilla, oh. just like a, a quick speed play on normal mode. Uh, I thought it would do fairly well. Uh, about like three people joined. 
<laughs> I was, I had like a nice server set up for it and everything. It was, there was like a 50 player limit. About three or four people joined, and I was like, this isn't working. <laughs> this, is, this is not, this is not I, it. This is not it. Yeah. I also tried to do the same with SCP Secret Laboratory. Oh, I have that game. Which had like a 30 player limit. Uh, it's very fun. It's very good. It's also free. And, uh,. When I did an open join of it, I think about seven or eight people joined, and it's best with like 15 to 20 or 30 or something. <laughs> <laughs> but I fairly, but the reason I even organized these in the first place was because I had previously done collabs with the same games that went remarkably well. They were very, very fun. I like invited a dish, shitload of specific people to them. So really, these things tend to be better as just, like, invitational things. Mm -hmm. If I could do these as, like, open join and it actually worked, then I would do more of these, though. <laughs> you just need more people. That's why it is. You need to, you like, it's really difficult to set up things. I'm right now setting up a uh, Goose Goose Dub Duck collab with, like, 15 other people. Oh, my oh. God. It's so stressful to get everyone's times down and, like, like, hey, look. I'm pinging this to everyone in my Discord server. You guys okay with this time? And like three people will be like, yeah. And the other people just nothing. So I have to like actually oh. individually DM them like, are you cool with this? And then three days later, but yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. Oh yeah, so what I what I do with that for scheduling stuff is usually if I'm organizing a nice collab or something, then I figure out a time beforehand that works best for me and that I know will work reasonably well for a lot of other people. Usually that's something like 4 p.m. CST kind of thing. Yeah. And then I uh, invite a shitload of people, check if they're able to come. If they're not able to come, I invite more people. Makes sense, makes sense. Well, it, it, it's, 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 like, like, I always try and just at least have like any kind of collabs in these interviews. I always try and make sure it's on a day off so I can fit with any time period they want. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very, very, very well, very well. We, we both deal with the same issues a lot, it seems like. Yeah, organizing big events is fun. Ooh, yeah. But also very hard. Very difficult, very hard. A lot of work, a lot of work. Oh, cool, awesome, awesome. Well, then let's get into the, the one thing that everyone has always been wanting to get into. And I think we did discuss about this a little bit, but let's get into more details on this. And that is, what's the thoughts that went into the design of your model? Like, you already know that you would just say, jumble up a whole bunch of different things you found online, but what made you like, want to do this specifically you know yeah okay so right i'll sleep here, behind my couch I found yeah so right over here i found this funny little half a cat model on the uh i think it was the face rig workshop originally mm -hmm. and it just happened to be perfectly compatible uh with like live duty stuff i grabbed it and i was like okay i like this i started with it and of course, I mentioned before, it works perfectly as like I put it onto things. I put it like behind stuff. I go over here, I slap some PNGs on it. It's a model now. And then, uh, you know, it kind of just stemmed from there. And I found more free models around, specifically ones that you're allowed to edit. Uh, slapped various changes into them. It just kind of worked. You know? Huh. Oh, I haven't seen that one yet. Yeah, it just, it just really works. Liked the, uh, people really, really like the aesthetics. And I really like the aesthetics of just, like, slapping... Uh, basically, organizing, like, the nice sort of negative filter. Mm -hmm. I guess you could say. I like the stuff. black and white style. You know, I like the black and yeah. white style. And it's original, because everyone... Fucking everyone is pastel. Yep, everyone. <laughs> Everyone's colorful. And you know how hard that is to deal with when it comes to green, green screening them? You are the easiest green screen that I've ever had to deal with. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I love it. I it's love very it. Nice. It's very nice. Very nice. Okay, well, then how about this? How about this? For all the different models, all the different images that you have going for you, what is your personal favorite part about your own design? Uh, my personal favorite part? The simplicity. Yep. Yes. True, true. Yeah. How, like, you literally, like, and put one little thing on every single image you have in your web draw, and everyone knows exactly it's from you. Pretty much, yeah. I have the, um, well, actually, my, my real favorite part about my design, actually, I, I just realized this is applicable here, is the fact that I have brainwormed a lot of people into just, like, <laughs> when they see either a black cat or, like, a dark object, 
somewhere with any sort of like little dots on it, like white dots or something, they think desync. And I've heard this many, many times. I <laughs> it's great. <laughs> has, a has a reasonably frequently get sent like is that, is that like, desync at me on like uh, on under like Twitter images of some sort of like dark creature, and it's like uh, desync. This you? <laughs> this you? It's like that one picture of that guy going. <gasps> You know, it's like, is that desync? Yo, <laughs> Yo. desync. Desync. You're like, yes, sure, why not? And that, that's really good for your brand. That's what I'm saying. Like, you have that, like, brand, like, thing that literally anything that is, like, a dark color with two, ye two white dots in it is literally yeah. super recognizable to you, which is a hard for a lot of people to do. It's hard. And you got it down really easily. Yeah. It's really good. I it's really good. Unlimited power. You have unlimited power. You just need black and white, and you're there. <laughs> yeah. That's as good. The, as the funny void blob that can shape shift into anything. Yes. Of the, of the of the ultimate copycat, you're the most original and recognizable character we've had. If you get a black fridge in, uh, in like sometime this year, you're gonna think desync. What what you need to do? Is you need to literally market one thing, okay? If you can only sell one thing in your life, in your entire yeah, current I've career, this before. yep, if you can just sell <laughs> one thing, answer. just the eyes, just, just just sell the eyes, and that's it. That's all you need to sell. It's the eyes, and just let your community go wild on placing on random things. Like I would, if I if I if you had if you had that, I would literally put it right here in this black spot. It's right here. It's right here. <laughs> Yeah, I've, talked about, I've talked about this before of like uh a couple different things that i could do for merch if i did merch at some point which eventually i'm sure i'll do but just not yet uh would be obviously the basic thing stickers with a lot of the eyes for people to just like put on stuff <laughs> i want to see the stickers of just that that and i would and i would buy like a hundred of them and just slowly stop putting on random things around the town this is yeah and then very small amount like you can't see it barely but in the very small amount that someone has to look really carefully will i will have desync at or desync copyrighted <laughs> so that everyone will know that you copyrighted the eyes mayhaps mayhaps a lot One of this stuff though i know that like because i'm using a lot of like free models and stuff i cannot copyright anything that i make with the designs for them true 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 it's gonna be yeah, difficult yeah, just the basic eyes thing, though. I think I could definitely do the eyes. Do the eyes. Do the eyes. Is that, yeah. like, in my opinion, literally, that is your character, is the eyes. Everything else is just a copy. Yeah. Yeah. Just like to it. find a little void. Little void. Little void eyes. I love it. I love it. So good. So good. <laughs> um, do you, as a void eyed creature, do you have a lore backstory? So I've thought about this a fair bit, but I usually just go with I'm just a funny little guy streaming for fun. Mm, nice. Although I have thought of I have thought of some lore before that I could potentially like do for things. Uh hmm. it has to be zany and crazy, that's all I ask. It has to be zany and crazy. Oh no, it's sad and depressing. Oh. <laughs> oh. So sorry. <laughs> but you look so happy but with yeah. those eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Who would ever guess that the most simplest of characters has the most deepest of backstories? Mayhaps. Mayhaps. But yeah, I'll probably mess with it at some point. I will not uh, spoil yet, though. No spoil. No sp I got you. I got you. No spoiler, especially when it's not done. <laughs> <laughs> True. Can't spoil something that has not been done yet. Yeah. Cool, cool. I like it. I like it. Cool. Awesome. Well, then, here's, let's get a little controversy, okay? A little controversial topic. Yeah, um, I actually, uh, before that, though, I guess, I guess technically, if we're talking like lore and backstory stuff, then I could say like, I've thought a lot about like the properties of a copycat and like mm. uh, the limits and stuff for one, because like IRL, I'm an engineer. I have a okay. master's degree. <laughs> nice. Go for it. No wonder you're always yeah, busy. So I, yeah. So with the copycat, essentially, it's a little void blob, kind of like a slime. Uh, and it can mimic any material properties and changes destiny and stuff as well. So, say, uh, you could, like, reach over, touch the ear, and then your hand just, like, goes through it. It's like a, it's just a slime. 
and then maybe uh, a second later, uh, surprise! It's suddenly hardened around your hand. It is now it is now the hardness of steel, Ooh. and with the texture of like sandpaper. So enjoy getting your hand out. <laughs> I saw an image of like someone trying to touch the booba, and they got sucked in. So yeah. <laughs> that's how I feel. That's how I feel. Consume. Consume. Come soon. <laughs> love it, I love it. Cool, but yeah, no, it, it's, just, it's just really interesting in that kind of concept. Oh, oh, shy guy. You give me you shady eyes. Change, huh? Shady eyes. Yeah. I'm also freely change my density for size. Ooh. Like, is he... I'm like, oh my god, it's so big. <laughs> and also be like, oh. living space. Yeah, yeah. There's a little fly. Let's get out of here, get out of here. The, the fly fires mirror. fight back, motherfucker. Ah! No! I didn't they see that coming. I used, it, I used that bit three times already. Yep. <laughs> you know what? I, I expect nothing less. How many times have you exploded? Plus one. I did have a life, but they two. Hey, <laughs> you plus two. <laughs> I did have a life, but they took her in the divorce. Oh, no. <laughs> you used to have a life, but they took it in the divorce. I love it. <laughs> cool, cool. From HLVR AI. Have life <laughs> but the AI are self aware. I love it. I love it. I did have a wife, but the, I did have a wife, but they took her in the divorce. <laughs> they took her in the divorce. It's <laughs> <laughs> fucking nonsense. It's so good, though. It's so good. So much fun. <laughs> all, right, all right. So let's get into a little controversy, okay? A little controversial yes. topic. What's your thoughts on the VTuber community at the moment? Okay, so it used to be, I used to think that the VTuber community was, like, incredibly wholesome. It was very nice. Everyone, like, uh, it was super interconnected and separate from the horribly toxic mainstream, like, Twitter environment kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Most of the VTuber community, after you get out from, like, so with anyone who is sort of in the slightly larger section of the VTuber space, it's still true that it's very, very wholesome, very interconnected, and, like, separate from a lot of, like, drama and stuff. But the bulk of, like, the uh, main sort of smaller section of the VTuber community, as time has went on, has sort of, like... Twitter has, like, bleeded into it, like, the, the horrible Twitter culture, and uh, the VTuber community in its current state... I think a lot of it can be very, very toxic at times, and people get far too hung up on drama a lot of the time. I think that it would be very nice if people could realize that sometimes folks make bad decisions, and they, if, if they are truly sorry, then they can become better. And in fact, usually if someone has made bad decisions in the past, like very, very bad shit that they've done, and they have since, like, uh, felt horribly bad about it and tried to rectify their wrongs, then usually they become even more trustworthy than someone who hasn't committed any wrongs in the past. Ooh, that's interesting to think about. That's actually very true. I like it. Yeah. I mean, think about it. You, yeah, very, very frequently, uh, some of the nicest people that you will find out there are people who have, like, done something bad in the past that they regretted. Mm hmm, mm hmm. So you say that if someone did something like 10 years ago and came out to be a really awesome person who done some really amazing things, then someone yeah. finds that thing he did 10 years ago. Do but they... People are going to like... Uh, very frequently what people do is they'll just like look for some random bullshit from the past. Yeah. They'll just pull it out and then uh, just like... Be like, look at what this person did. Oh my god. Them. They're awful. I hate them. And then everyone just bandwagons onto it, like, yeah, that's evil. Why are you here? Get out. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, really bad. It happens constantly. It's awful. Yeah, I agree. Like, it's so terrible that this person who's known for being a really awesome person who's like donates and like does charity events and like it's like the really cool, awesome person. But they get banned because they posted something weird like, 10 years ago and now they have yeah, to that's, that's that sort of shit yeah hey I, I hate it when people like, do stuff like that you just wanted yeah. to ruin someone's life yeah actually multiple multiple good friends of mine have been canceled just for like random bullshit 
and like uh none of them have been justified or at least like some of them have been like slightly justified but not like to the degree of canceling it's the kind of stuff that should be settled in private yeah and exactly like pulled out in the open and then they just get fucking canceled yep one of like, them even i i know some i know some funny secret information about one of them uh i won't say the names though someone got canceled a fair while ago a good friend of mine and there was actually it, it was a wrongful canceling there was actually a person with malicious intent behind it that like spun the facts and got people to like stay quiet so that it, they could successfully cancel this person that's lame it was bad it's fucking horrible <sighs> but yeah that's scary that's scary when that kind of stuff happens like it's really yeah. scary when like someone you didn't even do anything wrong but then because someone just didn't like you very well just destroyed your entire like 10 year of content creation or just your life and just in general that's so scary yeah yeah someone someone could have like a big grudge against you and then like maybe someone else will like hop on because hey free clout for canceling someone oh. how will people know that i'm a good person if i don't uh reach out and just like attack anyone who's remotely done wrong before <laughs> I watch so people know I'm a good person. Exactly. Like, like, I can see I can see it now. I can see it now. <gasps> this person said that back then, but they don't say it back then. They said that this person just said this. And you find out, like if you do the research, they per that person didn't even say that. It's yeah, the whole out of context situation. Yeah, the whole out of context situation, you know? Like I could be yeah. like, oh I hate this person, you know, but really you're just talking about like some person in the game. But then yeah. like I, I then like 30 minutes later they can be like man asmund gold he's cool and then someone just like mix the two things together yeah like, it's it's so scary what people do online it's very scary that's why you don't pick a side hello oh oh hello that's, that's why you don't pick a side and you don't say until more information drops agreed 100 percent, 100 percent. you wait until you I hear all be... the facts yeah, I think it would be much better if, like, it was normalized with people saying, uh, like, just shaming people who pull out just drama that should have been solved in private. Like, just shame both parties at that point. Like, you shouldn't be fucking talking about it openly. Just solve that shit in DMs. Nope, 100%, 100%. And don't worry over it. You can swear as much as you like. Anyone yeah. can swear. I personally don't. That's just because I have a personal reason I don't. But you guys can swear yeah. as much as you like. You go ham. I, yeah, I want myself to swear less, but I I swear like a sailor. <laughs> you and that's why I tell people you can swear as much as you want. I just can't because of a personal reason. But like you guys go, you guys go balls to the wall. You have fun, dude. Go for it. <laughs> oh yeah. People are t taking that beef on Twitter is stupid. Yeah, I agree. Like I don't understand why people like ring their laundry on twitter and don't get me wrong i have fallen prey a little bit to it because i've had like situations where i just like got pissed off at something and i just wanted to yeah. like just kind of rant about it on on twitter and then i would look back on it and i'm like why the frick did i do that it's so stupid i don't watch yeah. with twitter but more you stay on twitter more it tries to convert you into the twitter people it sucks Sucks. Yeah, Twitter as a site is it's very very good at trying to like incite hate mm -hmm. and like evoke emotions that are very negative. Negative emotions tend to be the strongest ways well, yeah. to get interaction, which is why like all of this shit has been leaned into by uh, the Twitter algorithm and stuff. No, one hundred percent. So, oh no, one hundred percent intentionally because bad news and just news that talk about like bad things this is what gets people's attention. You don't see yeah. a lot of people say, hey, this person just donated $10 to this charity. You don't see that. You see, yeah. this person doesn't like this charity. And then people are like, what? Why does he like the charity? You know? 30 people fucking died over here. Uh, look at this celebrity who said the N-word. Yep, oh, exactly. Hey, look, another war started. I sure hope nothing bad happens. Hey, are you worried about getting nuked yet? Oh, you weren't? Well, now you are. <laughs> now you are? <laughs> no, 100%. It just, it, it sucks because that's what people remember. That's literally what people think about. Because I think we as human beings are like mentally trained to like focus on what's wrong with something than yeah. what's right with something. Yeah. You know, actually, uh, the, 
fun, fun little fun little horrible neat thing that happened uh yesterday i i tweeted like early in the morning it's just like this this meme about like you don't have to be a wizard to cast fireball with me next to a nuke button and then <laughs> about like four hours later we started getting news about like <laughs> oh <laughs> the fucking uh palestine israel stuff. oh no <laughs> hours after Ooh, that aged very poorly <laughs> this aged horribly <laughs> oh that sounds terrible i'm so sorry <laughs> bad timing oh my god <laughs> I was like, fuck. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> uh, I also think, like, for VTubers, I've seen any any way they uh, like tell their whole life story. Yeah, that's also weird. Like, you don't need people to know your whole life story. Like, you really don't. Like, no one asks yeah. for that kind of stuff. Yeah, and also, like, uh, I, I suppose rewinding a little bit, there are, with the cancelling thing, so, there are some people that, obviously, like, it's important to spread awareness about some things. Mm. Like, some, some are very much justified. I just wish it wasn't, like, as in my face for a lot of them. And also, something that I like to do on Twitter is I intentionally try to avoid interacting with a lot of negative things, because when you're on Twitter, the algorithm will randomly push things to your followers that you interact with so comments are probably one of the bigger ones that uh things will get like pushed to your followers but also anything that you put a like on anyone who follows you might just randomly just see in their feed like Here, here's x thing liked by uh, dc zx yep yep yeah, do you so know how I, hard yeah. it is to not like vtubers with giant boobas <laughs> you know how hard yeah, that so. is <laughs> Yeah, so I've kind of like self-imposed rules on myself because I, um, I am very, very reckless with just liking things. Mm -hmm. So I same, just slap same. likes on just a shit lot of stuff as like a desync saw this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. No, one hundred percent. I actually got yeah. in trouble uh, from a old girlfriend because I just wanted oh. to support someone. I just wanted to support someone, and I'll like some people. Like if I don't see a lot of likes on like a VTuber who I interviewed before, I will like it just to support yeah. the person. But then I'll get like back talked by someone later on, like my old, old ex or something like that. And he's like, wow, you support this person? I'm like, uh, yeah, this person did has cool content. And he's like, did you know that like last week he talked about something really bad? I'm like, oh, well, I didn't like that. I liked this. Oh, just because I did. interacted with someone I don't like. <gasps> unfollowed block. Unfollow. I'm going to then spread it to other people and tell them to unfollow you too. Yep, unfollow, unfollow, hashtag banned, hashtag. Hashtag banned. Hashtag, hashtag banned. Hashtag cancel. Oh my god. <laughs> hello, hello. And I, and I love how thick Link it says the void has polymorphed. Have you, have you seen this guy? Like he polymorphs every like five minutes. Who polymorphed? Yeah, yeah. No one changes. No one changes into. Yeah. I'm normal. Yeah, he's always been like this, right? Nothing changed here. I'm just desync. Yeah, you always been desync. Nothing has changed. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm just a sync. Yeah, no, yeah, very normal. Yeah, yeah. He's always been a sync, right? Don't you like? Don't you like just seeing anime girls on the internet? That's yeah, yeah. Why I, that's why I uh, use this one constantly. You know? Yeah, yeah. That one specific. Or, yeah. <laughs> Sus. Don't you like the, X don't to you doubt. Like What's never? That, that's yeah. why. Yeah. My, uh, my default form which i've used for the entire entirety of the stream since the beginning is yeah yeah my thumbnail is, is like that too yeah 100 yeah see i'm in the thumbnail like this D mm -hmm. didn't you see it yeah, yeah. And this, of yep the shapeshifter it's a really cool person it's all the good stuff i definitely i haven't changed anything yeah no nothing has changed i don't know what you guys are talking about this has been Absolutely the same like character this entire time i don't know it's all it's all about the demise. It's demise. All about what? Demise. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I have to press two buttons to switch over here. <laughs> <laughs> You're totally good. <laughs> oh hey, I you know what? I actually seen this one. I've seen this one. Yeah, this, this one's very very nice. So a shitload of people use it. <laughs> yeah, well, because I think someone actually said that this was a free asset that anyone could use. Anyone could use. Yeah. Yeah, no, I love models it. Models that I use, they're all they're all free models, and they're all. By the way, all of them are linked in my card as well. Ooh, guys, as my, there you uh, go. In my Twitch, in my credits. It is. That I use. 
I love it. I, you know what? I actually, I, I take it back. I, I actually like this design the best. I love how like it's animated and it's moving. You know, I think it's really cool. Well, that's a shame because too many fucking people use this one, so I use it the least. <laughs> yep, makes sense. Makes sense. I know 100. percent I actually, I, I like, I like it just yeah. because the animated part. Yeah, I really, I really, really like the little animated bit as well. Mm -hmm. the, the funky sort of like uh, scribble pencil animation style with it. I've tried to mimic that with some things before. I need to try that again though. Not, not with like model sets of things, just like with memes and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's hard. It's very hard. It's very hard. <laughs> we were, okay, so let's get back to what we were talking about before because we did get this, <laughs> we did get thrown off quite a bit. Um, but you know, one hundred percent false information gets thrown around so much in like social media posts and social media pages, especially Twitter and Roblox apparently. But like, oh, wow. we just have to keep in mind that if you ever see something like suspicious or sus or someone likes something that you're not agree with don't take it out on the person just like wait until there's facts or even better yet just message them directly and be like hey you okay man you good and you're like yeah sure yeah. What's, what's, what's up what's up what's up oh you, you you said you like nuclear warfare i'm like i did it's like yeah look oh i just placed the bomb because of a meme <laughs> bomb has been planted Bomb, bomb has been planted. Bomb defused. Bomb defused. Counter terrorist wins. E. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. Yes, perfect. <laughs> we win. <laughs> we win. We win. Yo, okay, hey, hey. Right, so here's here's something that you might like. Um, so even though you've only been streaming for a little over a year now, have you noticed yes. any changes from when you first started streaming compared to now? Yes. Uh, so me personally, or just like around? Uh, I see you personally. Okay. Well, I guess since I am heavily integrated into Twitter at this point, uh, fucking somehow become <laughs> my largest platform. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I started on Twitter to fucking support my uh, my Twitch streaming stuff to like advertise and stuff. It's worked really, really well, but it is it is surpassed my Twitch <laughs> so much. <laughs> You can't control what people like, unfortunately. It just works. It just works. That's, also, it, that's how it is. It works. And also, it only takes a couple of minutes to work on a Twitter post or, or like do funky edits, and then like I usually stream for really, really long. That's how it so is. With, yes. So with my own streaming, uh, over time. So before I started streaming, I was not very good at talking a lot, as uh, moderately less sociable. Since I started streaming, I have gotten very, very good at talking. Very, very good. And talking for long durations as well. That's good. And, yeah. and just like inflection and stuff as well. Like I was always very monotone. I was like, okay, I'm going to talk like this the whole time. Hey, how's it going? Hey, guys. And then like as time has gone on, you can hear the inflection. Mm -hmm. You know? Just mixing it up a little bit. Makes it a little more easier to talk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, don't worry, Ruthie. We've been staring out of her eyes the entire time. Hey, you're just making eye contact, right? Yeah, eye contact. Eye contact. Nothing yeah. wrong here. Nothing wrong here. Just, just making eye contact while we talk. You know? Yeah, exactly. Fine. <laughs> but no, yeah, what? But one hundred percent. Like, like I think that is like a skill that you definitely need as a streamer is someone who can continue conversation going and going, and going, and going. Is that what people want to hear? It's you talking. Yeah. Oh, I like it. I like it. <laughs> skill issues. Ooh, ooh. what? No oh, skill <laughs> issues. What? What? Cool, but yeah, cool. I guess I guess in that one year as well, uh, the community has also gotten a lot more toxic as it's grown. Yeah, yeah, There's unfortunately. Yeah, before I popped in, it was much smaller. Like two years ago, it was a lot smaller. There was uh, a lot less people VTubing, and it was like growing rapidly over time. Last year in the summer, there was such a fucking massive boom of VTubers. There were so many new people. And Heck also because of that, there was a lot of people that started streaming around the same time as I did and or content creation around the same time as I did that I kind of like just like seen over time. A lot of people have either just like been around and just like not grown at all in that time while other people have been like just fucking ascend, explode. And it's just like there's such big just differences all around. It's very funky. It is it's crazy to see like how who and what gets popped off, you know, 
it's crazy when you see like so small little things of like different characters get popped off and then you see like things that look really obviously should pop off doesn't get popped off yeah i mean there's all there's all sorts of reasons behind everything mm -hmm. 100%, 100%. Oi. Oi, oi. but cool awesome well i do know one thing very for sure is that the fact that you definitely need to show off more of your content because i think you'll be popping off very soon I need to fucking stream more. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you do, you do. You need to get that schedule set. You need to get that schedule set. Yeah, usually what I do with my schedules is I try to... By this point, I'm always streaming every Sunday. But, That's good. Uh, That's good. I want to stream more often during the week and stuff, just at random times. And I keep saying I want to. But then what ends up happening is I get, like, some work that I've got to, like, wrap up. And then I don't finish it on time. Other things happen. Procrastination, whatever it goes on a little bit extra and then i don't have the time to work on uh like streaming stuff mm -hmm. and then i want to and then i notice like oh hey i'm popping off on twitter i don't want to let the snowball stop so now slightly more of my focus is like keeping that moving yep yep which is kind of like what's been happening sort of like recently where like a fair bit of my free time that i could be using for streaming has been getting used for like uh just like other content and or just like interacting with people because fucking i know too many people <laughs> <laughs> too popular <laughs> too popular over here <laughs> <laughs> go for world it problems first world problems but no like you kind of have to do that like as a content creator who has a lot of like reach in so many different social media platforms if one's popping off over the other you don't just stop that fall and just work on something that's not working that's not working that much you jump on yeah. to the one that's working harder and put more focus on that. yeah so i want to put a lot of focus under a lot of them but like so i regularly i well at least i did it more regularly before i still do semi regularly now make a lot of youtube shorts where they're just funny little shorts where I just do just funky stuff, little edits, me experimenting with like editing styles and whatnot. Mm. I post them on Twitter. I post them on YouTube shorts and I post them on TikTok. They always do horrible on YouTube shorts mm. or at least like decent or like some of them pop off a bit. And then like on Twitter, uh, they just fucking just send. I, I keep saying fucking. I need to... <laughs> you, you do it. Just keep saying. You're good, my friend. You're good. Unless you want to improve on it. I want. I want to swear less. <laughs> Is you have to find a different thing to say then. I don't know. I sometimes say heckin as well. I say freaking when, when I'm like vaguely consciously trying not to. <laughs> but I... anyway, uh, what's the thing? So then on Twitter they always ascend. They just, they just pop off. Uh, on TikTok, they usually do, like, twice as well as on YouTube Shorts. And, yeah. So, with Twitter, because of how the algorithm works, and I know this for, for certain, because I have seen the downsides of this, if you post regularly, then your stuff will get pushed a bit more. Because of how the algorithm works with it, it's more so, like based on individual people's interactions and like the collection of all those inter individual interactions rather than uh just like fully focused on uh, main sort of algorithm stuff like uh, the youtube algorithm like how that works yeah so if you have a whole bunch of people interact on your stuff then we'll then get pushed your stuff more and then because there's a bunch of people interacting on your stuff then even more people will get to push them whether they're directly connected to those people or in like loosely connected sort of areas. So that pushes it more. But here's the issue. If people don't interact and they keep not interacting, the algorithm will notice this. It will push you to that person less. Oh, so no. now say what happens if I, uh, you know, I post every day, like three times a day for like a full month. And then I take a week off, and now no one's getting shit pushed to them. <laughs> oh, no. It just happened, like, two times before. Uh, there was a month where I got, like, I was just doing really, really well towards the end of last year. And I got, like, I think 1K plus on... No, I got, like, an additional 1,000 followers on Twitter that month. Uh, after that, I took, like, a week to, like, work on some other stuff. I come back and then just like it took me another like uh it took me another like four months to get just a hundred more followers 
Oh, oh, so, oh. It, breaks on a lot of these things really do just kill momentum, and Twitter works like a snowball, so the most important time to put out something that's really, really good is right after you put out something really, really good. You gotta keep pushing in, keep pushing in. Yeah, you need to keep the snowball going, and then it will keep just getting bigger. It just goes. Dang. That's how, that's how a lot of people, like, just pop off, is you need to push out good thing after good thing. I needed to just keep that rolling, but it's so much effort. <laughs> so much effort, so much effort. Yeah. I, I, I've been trying to post more things of just like my everyday life, of just random stuff. But man, yeah. like even just like doing simple things like that is just a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but hey, that's what it takes to be a a content creator. You got you got to keep on doing it. Got to keep doing it. Yeah. Gotta keep mm. that content brain. All the content brain, all the content brain. Speaking of content, mm -hmm. let's get a spin going. Spin, spin. I need that as my as my my sound effect. I'll send it to you in a bit. We will do it, dude. Thank you, thank you. Um, what kind of music do you like to listen to? Music, uh, mostly like video game OSTs and um. A lot of instrumental stuff. I listen to very little things that have like uh, lyrics with it. True, I am the same. Yeah. yeah, a whole lot of video game music. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And very soon we'll be asking about it. And when I mean very soon, I mean like right now. Where? What is oh, your fun. favorite video game and video game franchise? Uh, I particularly like indie games a whole lot. I heard when oh, you were talking really about good. like Del Delta Rune and uh, like stuff like that. Yeah, Hollow Knight is really, really good. I like a lot of <laughs> Nintendo games, particularly like the older single player stuff more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I really do not like shooter games, like the oh. mainline shooter games. There are shooter games that I'm fine with, obviously. Just the horribly mainline, obnoxiously competitive ones, I do not like. Like True. I will not play Apex or Valorant or like any of those. You know what? I think that's good for you. <laughs> that's really healthy yeah. for you. I feel like it's... Like for someone who doesn't have a lot of time on your hands, you shouldn't be getting stuff like that because yeah. there's always going to be someone who's going to just destroy you because they have no like they and they're not busy at all. All they do is this. That's all they do. Yeah. It's games and Apex. Yeah, there's always going to be there's always going to be someone who's better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And very frequently, there's also always going to be people who are horribly toxic. Oh yeah, unfortunately, it's I used better. to play League of Legends. I know all about that. Yeah, it's just better for time and mental health, really. Mm -hmm. One hundred percent. But uh, like any any games that you can like uh, name that you really like. That I really like. Uh, hold on just a sec. Here's my spin sound. You have been noticed, yeah, Ruthie. You have been noticed. Ah yes. <laughs> ah yes. There we go. Sorry, I was just grabbing the spin sound. There you Do go. it. All right. So with games that I really like, uh, there is. I guess I mentioned Hollow Knight. Uh, I really, really like Gmod. I have Gmod. five thousand hours on Gmod. <laughs> oh, that'd be a fun game to like collab with. <laughs> Jeez. It's very, very good for a lot of stuff. It's it's one of the games that I like to refer to as an infinity game. You could play it basically endlessly because there's such endless ways to mess with it. It's kind of like Minecraft. Oh yes, lol is the most yeah. toxic. But no, one hundred percent like Minecraft and Gmod. You're 100 percent correct. It is 100 percent you can do infinite content with. Yeah. Or not even just like content, you're just playing. Really. Just playing, yeah. Yeah. Remember when Gmod was like super big on YouTube? Super big. Oh yeah. I kinda wish people then, would like, play it again. Yeah. There's like Vanoss and there's the all uh, the uh, there was a lot of people. Mm -hmm, there's mm -hmm. just all the, the main keeps playing stuff on it constantly mainly prop hunt for some reason which yeah. isn't the best one i think ttt is the best one ttt was that trouble in terrorist town it was among us before among us oh and okay also with guns <laughs> with guns you know i think i remember yeah. seeing videos on that of like they the they all like walking yeah. around like doing something you know it does make sense it was among us I even thought about that. It's been so many years since I actually remember that. You're right. That was Among Us before it was Among Us. Gregory, this is sus. This is sus. Oh no, it's so sus. It's so sus. Where's my... 
Locked away. There we go. Oh no, no. Oh my god. Of course what? you will have one of those. What? Is there something suspicious in here? I think there's something on your face. Oh, sorry. Yes, of course, my hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. No hats and doors. <sighs> well, actually, well, um, you can have hats and doors. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, you will be fine. Yeah, yeah. Right? Well, yeah. Very well. I'll just True. Normal hat. No, normal hat. Normal hat. Very normal. Yes. Oh, very normal. No, oh, I know that hat. What? What's wrong with it? It's very normal. Very normal. You know, I just need to keep my eye on you. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Among us before Among us. <laughs> HR looks like it, the he has slinger slasher. It's the sling sling slasher. Hash sling slasher. Slash spring. Flash flinging flasher. Oh my god! No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's perfect, perfect. Yeah, well, we, we forgot about it. Oh yeah, we have another spin. Ruthie wants to do a spin. Ruthie, you guys do a spin. Oh, Okay. But it's your spin. It's the spin. spin. But no, I I really like whoa, whoa, whoa. oh my god, all the spins. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well he as someone who actually likes a lot of indie games, what's the most hated game you've ever played? That I've played? Uh what's it called? Dead by Daylight. Ooh, you don't like Dead by Daylight? I hate Dead by Daylight. Oh. It's so sweaty. It's very sweaty. And very it's sweaty. such a simple gameplay loop. I do not like it at all. It's awful. Mm -hmm. I, I can definitely see that. Like, how long How long did you play it for? I played it, I think I have like six, seven hours logged on it. Okay. I played and... it two times, one time on stream, another time off stream. Uh, the first time was on stream, unfortunately. Oof. It was bad. I did not yeah, like it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I can see that to be a very big issue. Definitely, 100%. It's one of those yeah. games that if you want to stream it, you kind of have to already like know what you're doing. Because if you try to stream it yeah. without any knowledge on it, you will be destroyed. Like League of Legends. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Very sharp skill curve. Very, very, 100%. But I can definitely see that. I can definitely see that, 100%. But going back to your favorite games, like, so what makes you want to stay more into the indie space? Is that just because it's more of the nuance? Or do you I think just, that... I, there's just more of them that are fun, honestly. Yeah. A lot of the more, like, AAA stuff is just, like, excessively large amounts of work put into it. And then it's like, oh boy, I sure can't wait to wander around a giant world for, like, <laughs> the 300 hours and have about, like, 10 hours of fun in those 300 <laughs> That, that, that's me with, like, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. There's so much stuff in it, but none of it is what I want to do. Well, like, very frequently, AAA games release, and then, like, everything's broken. Oh, yeah. And everyone complains about it for, like, a month, and then it gets fixed, like, two years later. And then people already forgot about it, and just, uh, don't care anymore. Yeah. Uh, with most indie stuff, really, I just like older games a lot more as well. <laughs> There's just more quality with them. It just feels like a better time as well. Mm -hmm. I, I've i been going backwards and trying out a lot of retro games. What's your favorite yeah. retro game? Ah, retro ones. Um, I, I, I have no idea. There's so many that I've played. I can't really call one specific one my favorite. Uh, I like... Super Mario Sunshine a lot. That's oh, a really, really good one. Good one. Yeah, that's a really good yeah. one. I guess it's gonna. I guess it's considered a bet for now. It's like. It's considered now. Over, it's over twenty. It's over twenty years old. <laughs> yeah, don't make me feel old. <laughs> oh yeah. No, no, I don't want to feel old. Don't do it. Don't do it. We're don't. closer to the year. We're closer to the year twenty forty six than the year two thousand. No! <laughs> Don't do that to me, no! I'm feeling People my body... In... Okay, well. <laughs> People born in 2005 or turning 18. No! <laughs> I feel my body's disintegrating from how old it is. No! <laughs> no! No! My back already hurts. <laughs> chaos, chaos! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you are you are now aware of the cranks in your back. Oh no! You cannot, I, you cannot I, feel the dryness on your tongue. No! <laughs> I, I, I make sounds when I get up now. No! You are now breathing manually. No! <gasps> no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, like Fallout? <clears throat> Do you like Fallout Vegas? Fallout New Vegas? Fallout New Vegas, I liked a lot more than a lot of the other ones. It felt like the, the story was much more enjoyable with that one, though I guess the world was like fairly empty in a lot of spots. There's a lot of empty space between all the important stuff. Makes sense. A sink? Yeah, yeah. It's everything but the kitchen sink. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let, let, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to steal this from you, okay? Let us sink in. Yeah. Let it in. Let it in. Open your door. Open the door. Unlock your window. Let me yeah. in. Yeah, just let it in. Just let it in. Just let it in. Just let it in. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Are you old? Oh, how dare you? Old how dare you? She turned it on me. She turned it on me. <laughs> okay, boomer. Ah, uh, no. No. Uh... Uh, one, one, because I love talking about video games, it's literally my jam, but one thing I want to talk about is that, what's your thoughts on remakes and remasters? Of taking, like, old retro stuff that we grew up with playing, and now turning into a more modern twist. Like, a good example is Resident Evil 4. Uh, honestly, I haven't played the original one. Oh, okay. <laughs> but what's the, a what's your the, thoughts on that? a lot of these... Yeah, so with a lot of these, I think it's good that a lot of things get remastered because then it like puts it in front of the new audience, puts it on more consoles so more people can play it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes though, it's done horribly badly and they end up like making the game worse somehow, or uh, the or it's very blatant cash grabs where they like up the graphics a little bit and then resell the game again for a lot more money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it's, that's that's yeah. Red Dead Redemption right there. On it's Switch. All or did you hear that the the not the remake but the remaster version of Red of Resident Evil Four is coming out on the Apple phone for sixty dollars? Uh, I have not. Yeah, that's that's a big controversy going on right now. Is that the Apple phone the Apple phone version of Resident Evil Four is releasing at sixty dollars price? Well, that's funky. Very funky. That, that's a little weird. That's a little weird. Would you say? A little, a little yeah. funky? A little weird. The corporation be like, I like money. I like money. Money, 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 Okay, okay, here, here, here's a fun one for you. Here's a fun one for you. Uh, do you have an ideal date? Ideal date? Uh, not really. I'm asexual. Oh, cool. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Hey, do you, do you have just like a cool like hangout that you like to do? Hangout stuff, uh, every single Friday night. Well, not everyone, but basically every other Friday night for the past like nine years, I play D&D with some peeps. <gasps> this sounds awesome. Yeah. Do you play Baldur's Gate? Nope. Oh. If I start playing Baldur's Gate 3, I know that I'm not going to stop, and it will turn into messy stream content for a lot of it, where I look around every fucking corner in existence, looking for things that probably aren't there, and then find stuff that is there, and then it reinforces the, uh, reinforces the idea of checking behind every corner because I found something that time. Yep. And then most of the stream will become very, very slow. And then also my work will suffer because I'll be spending way too much time playing Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> you know, you have more self-control than I do. <laughs> yeah. yeah i love it i love it that's so good <laughs> but yeah i love to play uh i would love to see uh that D, &D world that you like to play It'd be cool i will not i will not be streaming it it is with irl friends <laughs> no i i, I wasn't saying that you want to stream it i just it'd be cool to be the like fly on the wall in one of your sessions yeah google <laughs> that'd be cool that'd be cool who would you like to play as in D, &D? do you have a I I always like to play weird, like, just obnoxiously wacky characters. Like, uh, I have one character that is a slime person. Oh. By the way, this is specifically in a... For this character, it was in a campaign that... Where basically we were playing as a bunch of people that got drafted into a military that was raiding into another area. Oh. That, like, they hate anything that's not humans. Oh. 
and my character was a slime disguised as a person. <laughs> <laughs> they will not notice. It, uh, it, yeah, it used the um, it used an altered version of the uh, changeling uh, stats. Oh, okay, that's actually kind of cool. Yeah, so yeah, so they were a slime, and they and they talked like this all the time. They were like, "Hello, yes, I am Hi. normal. I am very normal. Yes, hello." I like that. I like that. Hello, human. Yes, I am I'm also normal. fellow human. Nice to meet you. Yes. From from my token for it, I always used like. Uh, a normal man's face with like the Roblox face slap onto it. <laughs> I love it. That'd be good. That'd be good. I'm, I'm normal. I'm normal. I'm normal. Guys, guys. Hello. Normal. Hi. Hi, everyone. Don't worry about my arm. It will grow back. It'll grow back. No. Doesn't your doesn't your human arm grow back? Of course, I'm normal. I'm normal. I'm normal. <laughs> I love that. Good I like that. I like that character. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. <laughs> that's a good... Just fuck with like weird gimmicks for all of them. <laughs> Go for it. That's, the, that's all about D and D. Just have fun. I think it's great. It's I think fun. it's great. Um. Okay. okay. Next the question. Come oh. first, and then the, and then the gameplay. <laughs> yes. You have a weird, interesting concept, and then you put everything around it. Yeah. I'll figure it out later. We'll figure that that part later. <laughs> I love it. It's a good. It's good. Um. If you could live in any video game world or anime world, what world would you like to live in? A uh, specific world or just game in general? If it's game, then probably Gary's Mod. You would love to live in Gary's Mod? Like, I mean, infinite stuff, basically. Oh, yeah. This uh, is like, just, just like somehow bring up like a, a chat thing and just like yeah. spawn things in. Yeah, if we're talking like fictional world to exist in, then, uh,. Good one. Mm, this is hard. There's a lot. There's, there's a lot. Like, yeah. It's really interesting because, it's, like, if you think about some of your favorite games, you probably wouldn't want to live in it. You know, like Deltarune yeah. or like Hollow Knight. You probably wouldn't want to live in those worlds. Yeah, there's all sorts of like neat things with like these cool worlds and stuff, and then it's like, oh, this seems like it would be neat to live in. And then you remember that like horrible shit happened. <laughs> and it's like, okay, never mind, not that one. Yeah, maybe not that one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like maybe the, the My Hero Academia world. I I'd guess be I'd be down for that. Like slapping one on. If you had a quirk, would your quirk be? Uh, Shape shifting. Yep. Thanks for that. <laughs> You know, it makes sense. Go for it. Go for it. It seems like it's just shtick. Uh, yeah. You better have the same eyes, though. Always have the same eyes. Yeah. Or if I was in, like, JoJo or something. Uh, time fuckery. Stop time. Time control. Time control. The world, though. The world, though. Yeah, do you have a sound for that? Uh, I unfortunately do not. <gasps> one day. One day. You'll have the the world, though. Yeah. You will have the world. Yeah, or I suppose uh, with time control sort of stuff, I really like the idea of like implementing the ability to respawn, kind of like uh, how they do it in ReZero. Is it? Oh one yeah. Way, albeit that is a very brutal way, though. <laughs> yeah, like maybe not that brutal. Make it may, maybe more like yeah. you know, like video game respawn, where you just pop to a spot. Yeah, mark yeah. mark save point. Got a save slot here. I'll slide back to this one kind of thing. I would like that. Just make slate save slots, the auto saves and stuff like that you reload back. I would use that power like all the time. And that'd be me in my normal kind of save. Yep. Oh it's my god. The auto save. Well, the auto save maybe. As long <laughs> as I have <laughs> For those who know, you know. <laughs> Who's Rem? Who's Rem? Who's Rem? <gasps> no, load back, load back. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd load back. <laughs> For those who know, who knows. Who's Rem? You need that, that really sound like, effect. I, you need that sound effect. Oh, wow. Something like that. I really like ReZero. ReZero is good. It's really good. I like Rem. Even though no one remembers her. There we go. There we go. How dare. How dare you say that. How dare you say that. <laughs> <laughs> I, years ago, I actually went so far with, with the ReZero series to like read the light novel. <laughs> oh, wow. You went ham then. I'm on, the, I'm on like arc six of it nice, when nice. I last read it. But uh, to give to give context, arc uh, the the let's see what was it? 
the first season ends on arc three, then arc four is obnoxiously long as it and is the entirety of season two. Oh wow. That is There's a long five, one. Season six after. Or, no, arc five and then arc six after, not season Do you, are we getting another season of anime yes. of it? Okay, cool. It is confirmed. That's good, that's good. Who's Rem? How dare how dare you guys? Hmm. Wem is best girl. Best girl. I'm just a complete, you know, I'm a void witch. Nothing strange here. Nothing strange. Never, never, never strange. Never strange. Hey. Hey, yeah. <laughs> All right. Here's a, so as someone who collabs with a lot of people, if you had like a dream collab, who would you like to, who would like to, who would you like to collab no matter how big or small? Uh, probably porcelain made. Yep, I can see you be a porcelain maid. I think you guys would hit it off pretty well. You guys both have like zany uh, energy. He's inspired uh, a reasonable amount of stuff, and I really like his content. <laughs> <laughs> he's really good. He's really good. Yeah. I, I really do feel like you guys would hit it off very well. Yeah, I really want to at some point. Mm -hmm. One day, one day. And then, yeah, and then beyond that, maybe General Giga at some point as well. Maybe Kai. Kind of, Probably like right after it. second. You gotta, you gotta do more. You gotta hit a bow more often. You gotta hit a bow more often. Play more yeah, dark and darker. As well. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Awesome, awesome. All right, so back to some serious stuff. That was all just like a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Um, do you have any goals you have in mind? Like anything you would like to accomplish? Mm. So in the first place, so my main thing with streaming is streaming is my hobby. So I do it for fun, but... I do very much want to grow bigger as a streamer. I want to get bigger at some point. Uh, I don't really need to make it a like source of income, but I'll be that would be very nice very if I nice. could. Yeah, it would be very very nice because then it could like fund itself kind of thing. As like uh, I could like pay for like fan art and stuff. Well, not fan art. I could pay for like commission art and stuff. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. Yeah. I think that's and, the dream uh, right there. Yeah, and ideally some sort of uh, like personal model that's not like horribly scuffed because I I'm a bad artist. <laughs> All the stuff they use is like edits of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm good at editing things. I am not an artist. <laughs> <laughs> would what there's would you? Reason, yeah, there's a reason all of my art is uh, very very simple and involving. Uh, a two-colored creature that has no specifically defined shape. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Well, okay, so if you could commission someone to make you, like, a model, what would it be like? Do you have any ideas? Uh, I'm gonna hold on to that. Okay. It sounds like you, you have an idea, but it's gonna be a surprise. I got surprise. ideas. I got ideas. Yeah, I suppose, yeah, I suppose for other goals and stuff, uh, two goals with specific streamers are uh, I want to get on the Weary 101 with Takahata at some point. Very cool. Yeah, and I want to get uh, one of Porcelain Maid's date nights. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. I want to see both of them. Yeah. Oh, I can see it. Just yeah, they keep on... If anyone doesn't know, uh, I'm not asking for a date with Porcelain Maid. Porcelain Maid does like this... Uh, he calls it date nights, which is basically just a collab night where he uh, has another VTuber on, and they just, like, hang out for several hours. Yep, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Date night, yeah. <laughs> I, I can see it. I can see you be perfect on both of those shows. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Hopefully they reach out to you. I really want to at some point. <laughs> that'd be good, that'd be good. <laughs> that'd be so fun, that'd be so fun. Cool, cool. Yeah. Are you yeah, ready I for... Guess, the... uh, oh. Yeah, I guess as a... Um, as one last bit with those, though, uh, another really big goal is I just want to get big enough so that I could have a reasonably sized community where I can just do things and just hang out with everyone and it just works. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Just yeah. have your, just vibe with all the people that you're with. That'd be cool. Yeah. I want to just be able to do things and it just works. Yeah, it just works. You don't need anyone else. You just have your community and you got you, you got your vibe. Uh-huh. I want to be able to just pick a game and be like, hey, open and join, and then, like, fill the slots. Yep, yep. Flashback I think that'd be cool. Like, uh, yeah, flashback to, like, RT Games, uh, if you know who he is. Um, 
having like uh, open join Terraria with like 200 people with the same name of Zach. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so much fun, though. Like, if you can like like host some kind of cool thing. Yeah, I want to be able to do shit like that. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. I want. I want to see you do that. I want to see you do that. That'd be so cool. And I appreciate you can. Again, it's just all about you having time and being consistent. The yeah. consistency is the key, really. It is very hard. Mm -hmm. Very difficult. Very difficult. But I can see you get there. I know you get there. I know you get there. Keep keep working hard. Keep working hard. Are you ready for the last question of the night? Sure. Cool. And here it is. Last question, which is one of my favorite questions of all time. And that is, do you have any advice for those who might want to get into streaming slash VTube? Okay. So, first, very, very important thing to mention. Streaming is not for everyone. There is a lot of people that will go out and they'll be like oh i want to pop off they'll invest a shitload of money into a very expensive model and a bunch of very nice assets and then they'll start streaming and they just they don't have fun with it and then like time passes and then they they graduate slash slash stop streaming after like a couple months or like a year or something because they just they just don't have fun with it there are of course there's always ways to have fun with it but it may not always be in the way that you think there's a lot of people that i know that started out with just like full-on vtubing and then shifted over to more like they make youtube videos and stuff like i know um toledo uh he's going out uh he started out mainly streaming now he mainly makes youtube videos and uh, he has a lot of fun with it and they always pop off uh a bunch of other stuff like that really just there's ways to find ways to have fun with it but it really just is not for everyone they and know know how to do it as first, well right? yeah and of course as well with that there is a shitload of free assets everywhere you don't need to pay a bunch of money when you're starting out you don't need to plan for an expensive debut just start streaming just do it that's what i did i just i just started like a year ago i was like i I wanted to start streaming. I gathered up a bunch of stuff together over like the course of like a couple weeks and planned a bit. I then decided, hey, you know what seems neat? I've never played this game Toontown Corporate Clash before. I played Toontown as a kid and then I, I played it for a week for uh, every day of a week as my first starting thing. That that was what I started with. And uh, it, 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 it went well. And then I was stuck in Toontown for a while. And uh, don't <laughs> trap yourself in a single game. You won't have fun with it if it's a single game forever. Uh, I True. I got out of it after a bit. And do full variety. Nice, nice. Yeah. Don't trap yourself in a single game. Uh, don't waste a ton of money on something you might not enjoy. And uh, well, if you do start to enjoy it, start spending money. Sure, do what you want. And one last thing with that as well. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I had it a second ago and then I mentioned Two Town and I forgot. Uh, yeah, Two Town destroyed it. Yeah. <laughs> How good was it? It was. I'm only drawing a blank now. Shit, it was a really good. It was a really good, <laughs> well, was a really good important point I wanted to make. <laughs> <laughs> let, let, talk, talk about how let's talk about uh let's let's let's, let's rewind it a little bit so that you can like yeah. we get back on the the tracks of the, your thoughts you said that you one of the advice you want to get is just, just get started there's so many free assets out there so many free yeah. assets just do it just do it do it yeah you always find different stuff to have fun with uh just try it have fun figure it out streaming is not for everyone not every game is good for streaming as well don't stick no, with just one game things work yeah don't stick with just one game and uh yeah i love it very good advice yeah don't don't get no, drama, drama either yeah don't get caught in drama that's it's difficult to do if you're on twitter now okay very very important please <laughs> very very important do not go into streaming looking to immediately make an income off of it very mm. few people are able to make a consistent income off of exclusively streaming and there are a lot of people that have gone into an extensive amount of debt 
who started, Ooh. spent a lot of money, and did not make as much money as they thought they would. You don't make a lot of money from streaming. Most of the money is made from things that only, like, much bigger creators are able to consistently maintain, like mm -hmm. merch and stuff. And, like, very large amounts of donations and, like, subs and things. As well as sponsorships. Oh, yeah. Uh, which you won't get unless you're much, much bigger. Like, way, way bigger. Even, like, beyond being a partner, you have to be a much bigger partner than just, like, the lower requirements to even, like, uh, make enough to make an in a steady income. Mm -mm. Go into it as a hobby if you want to do it. Which would be fun. Start like fun. that. Well, fun. If you want, yeah. You can look forward and be like, okay, I started with as a hobby, and eventually I want to be able to make an income off of it. You can do that. Okay? Yes. But don't plan for that to be what happens. I... Perfect. I like it. No, it's, this is definitely 100% really good to go by. And I hope everyone's writing this down. This definitely is really 100% true because I believe, I'm pretty positive that a lot of people actually get into that mindset that, oh, I'll just buy a really expensive bo big booba anime girl model and I'll be famous. And then they find oh, out very quickly, yeah, they, very, they find out very quickly that you can't do that. That's not how that works. Yeah. Oh, oh, actually, sometimes it will actually work, and they will get really popped off, but then they realize they have to keep doing it, and they burn out too quickly, and they stop. They just stop. Oh, boy, you started you started using big booba avatar constantly? Oh, I sure hope you're ready for for people to have first-time chats like, hey, cutie, mommy. Yep, <laughs> and then DM them and try to flirt with them. Yeah, you know, like weird DMs and shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've heard horror stories from some of the guests I have of just people just saying some things. Like, I remember this is really innocent, like, VTuber who just learned just recently that she cannot count down on her streams. What? So she can't say, like, three, two, one. She can't say that. What? What do you mean? Do you know, do you know what that means? Like, putting her foot down? No, it's so chat will ask her big booba sexy anime character to count down slowly for the chatter. Is that doing something behind the scenes? Oh, yeah, she learned that the I hard see. way. I haven't heard of that before. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's disgusting, but that's some of the things that they have to watch out for. That's whack. They whack, they whack. Don't do that. Don't yeah. be that person. Don't be that person. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, hey, that's all the questions I have for you. Also, cat, hi. Um, thank you for answering every single one of those. It's really good. <laughs> weaker, uh -huh. weaker. Um, I, I that was just a lot of fun. We actually talked about some really good things. We were wild, we were crazy, and we actually talked about some really interesting things. Indeed. And yeah. remember, everyone, there's a ton of free assets everywhere. Very, oh, also, very uh, I guess, I guess one one last little thing to, uh, to mention as well that I I just realized as well would be important to mention. There is a thing that's happened over time, wherein the VTuber community has been very isolated, mm. which has had a lot of upsides, but also has like limits. Wherein I want to see eventually, uh, VTubers are just considered as streamers. Because there is this weird sort of divide where people are like, uh, I don't know, it's, it's been getting better over time, but there was always like this heavy separation between normal streamers and VTubers. Like, oh, the flash tubers. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's, a, that's been one of the biggest yeah. like things I like to do with this show is to bring that gap closer, you know, like reach out to VTubers and just talking about how awesome of a content creator you are, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we talk about your model, but we when we talk about your model, we talk mostly about the fact that, like, what thoughts went into the design. Because in my opinion, the coolest thing about VTubers is the fact that you are representing your, your personality and your style in a character and portray that online, you know? Yeah. So, like, I think that's just really cool. Like, all streamers do that. Like, as you can see, I wear myself on my screen, uh, on my, uh, like, on my sleeve. Like, everyone can tell the kind of things I like really quickly. Also, you do the exact same thing. 
we can see what kind of things you're interested in and you just do it i think you just do a better job because you can do all these crazy different animations soundboards and stuff like that and i just think it works out a lot better for you yeah look you yeah. you know exactly what this kind of person is by looking at <laughs> understands completely understand completely 100 percent. So this is definitely re reasonable definitely reasonable Cool. I love flesh tubers. Oh, thank you. I love yeah. B2. I love yeah, B tubers. Yeah. I agree. A, a very good homie of mine, uh, Redmaster, is also a flesh tuber. Flesh and tuber. is extremely interconnected with uh B tuber community. Hmm. Nice, nice. In like. all of them. He's a good dude. Good dude. Good dude. My boy Redmaster. Is he here? I don't think he's here right now. But yeah. <laughs> love it, love it. Oh hey guys. As we wrap this up. Do you guys have any more final questions? Do you guys want to do any more final spins? My cat's sitting on my mouse right now, so I can't really do anything. Spin. Hmm. <laughs> he's just staring. Staring at me. Boy. Stare. Stare. I think he just wants food. We'll see what it is. You. <laughs> do you have anyone you'd like to raid as we get closer? Let's see here. Whom's to dividend to this lie? What is DC's thing's favorite potion? Potions are enough for your games. I require only your strongest potions. The strongest potions? My potions are too strong for you, Traveler. You should oh. find a seller with weaker potions. Oh. Get good. But my traveler. seller, I might, I might need to be successful in the battle if I, <laughs> I need the potions. <laughs> I love it. I want to see a skit like that. I want to see like a little little character with like a link hat trying to buy potions to like a mage character, like your your wizard character, and they just talking back and forth. Yeah, uh, a copycat version of the the potion seller meme is on my long to do list. Do it, do it. I want to see, I want to see. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah. Also, later today at 6 p.m. CST, I'm continuing a funky Twitter event that I started two weeks ago wherein I'm editing a video of uh, just all of the people who submitted PNGs, uh, just a bunch of VTubers just falling in creative ways, mostly bouncing off of each other and various objects that I've inserted into the scene. I'm continuing editing that at 6 p.m. CST today on my channel. Go check them out. Go check them out. Where else can people find you? Also on Twitter.com, I post very, very frequently, at least a couple times a day, uh, mostly original content and or edits of things because uh, un unreasonably large amount of original content for the uh, VTuber that calls themselves a copycat. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Yeah. Yeah. My YouTube is messy. My Discord I'm trying to fix and my TikTok exists. TikTok does exist. It is a thing. Yeah. It is a thing. Cool, cool. Well, yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining in. If that's all you guys have, then hey, thank you so much for joining on my show. I really do appreciate you giving me your time to do this. Where's my sink? Oh, oh you know more. Oh. Yeah, thank you so much. I had a fun time. It was great. <laughs> I thought it was really, really fun. It was really good. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Good time. Good time. Good, good conversation. Good Let's time. see here. And now I have the sound effect. Yeah. I'm gonna try to find you that sound. Acquired. I acquired the sound. Spoon. Spoon. <laughs> oh, I see Rebecca's live. Oh, Kiwi ended. I said she was live earlier. I did that oh. thing. Okay. I think I got someone. Let's do it. Uh, you want me to paste the name in the chat? No, you can paste it in Discord. Okay. Oh, that was sick. Yeah, of course. You're welcome. It was a fun time. It was really good. Definitely go check out Desync. And then, and also, um, I do this East hey, Navy. Hey, oh. Delivery from Hello. <laughs> Hi, Cat. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Raiders. It's great to see you. It's great to see you guys. How was the, how was the stream, everyone? How was the stream? Did the did the cat the in the box the cat in the box the raid in the box raid? I love it, love it. This is look one the cat dragged him. Yeah, look, the cat dragged it. Hello, everyone. Hello. 
We 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 have we have this amazing little blob of a cat tentacle thing just being on our show. I'm just a funny little guy. No, oh, it's a funny. He doesn't do anything uh, horribly strange. Oh, dangerous, like being buff. Oh my god. <laughs> I still need to find out his workout routine. Oh my god. Them abs though. You can grind meat on those. Great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All good and yeah. my abs into a gun. <gasps> oh. oh my god. A bit which I've done three times today. I think fourth time. Yeah. It is the fourth time. <laughs> <laughs> I overdo it sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you're totally good. There's no kill like overkill, right? Yeah. It oh, fails to end the stream raid. To play. <laughs> well, we're actually going to be sending this raid off to another person, so we'll definitely send it off. A uh, cat. Actually, I've been uh, the the model is a uh, mousing. Yeah, yes, it's the mousing model. It's so great. It's great. It's the cat mod. Um, cat. I actually wanted to reach out to you because I want to talk to you about some things. So I'll reach out to you later. But yeah. We were literally looking for someone to raid as you raided it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we're going to be raiding someone else right now. But thank you guys all for joining in. We're going to send you off to another person. Um, Rebecca. Yeah. Rebecca. Noodles. I'll drop a follow on Cat or Tear real quick. Do it, dude. Cat is amazing. She does amazing rig and art. Oh, my God. She does a great oh. job. She does a great job. She has, like, she has wild energy like you two. Like, like she, like, literally has broken my screen multiple times. Just kicked it. Yeah. Also, it's it. it's funny that you mentioned that they do rigging and art and stuff because the person that we were going to read over to, Rebecca Doodles, is also also does a lot of rigging and art. <laughs> is currently updating their model. <laughs> Dude, let's go for it. Let's go. This is perfect. And everyone who's in chat who came from a cat stream, you'll actually like another person who does the exact same thing. So yeah, great to see you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining in. You guys are awesome. Definitely check out Desync. Desync is an amazing content creator who does a lot of random wild stuff. Definitely go for it. Is we do want it to sink in that so you guys should check him out. One hundred percent. Let it in. Let in. Let him in. Open your door. Open the door. I'm not Unlock. throw rocks at your window unless you open your door. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Can't make it. Can't make it. The shit stuck. Out my way, son. Door stuck! Door stuck! Door stuck! <laughs> I love it, I love it. Let's all, let's, all give, let's all give an amazing shout out to the person we'll be rating. Thank you guys all so much for joining in. You guys are awesome. Yell yeah, So great. It's great to see you guys. And if you guys are interested, we do these interviews each and every week. So if you guys would like to follow me, we will be doing another VTube interview next week. Hopefully I see you guys then. And don't forget, these things are going to be streaming later today. So also check them out. But right now, Indeed. we're going to get a raid started for our noodles. See how they're doing and see their model. So yeah, great to see you guys. I love to see you guys more often. And yeah, I hope you guys all have yourself a very nice day. Well, bye, everyone. Oh, DC, don't leave Discord yet. Well, bye, everyone. Bye. Well, bye. Sorry,